Yo, 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 yo. What's up, man? What is going hey, on? Hey, man. How's it going? Blurry as shit, you know, usual. Oh, well, we love that. <laughs> love being blurry. <laughs> the very beginning after yes, you're just yes. crystal clear, you know? No, it's just... Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Whatever. Nope. nope. <laughs> Just gonna run it. <laughs> run it oh, there we go. Right. It works. What's okay. up? I we're on episode twenty five, <laughs> man. Twenty five. Episode twenty five. It's pretty crazy. crazy. Um. So I am joined tonight by a good guest, special guest, Aaron. I'm. I'm gonna make sure. I, I, God, I hope I don't butcher it, dude. Moho Solo. Yes, sir. Yeah, there you go. I'm back. I'm back. So I crushed I, it. Um, my last, my last guest, I butchered not only his name but the, his company's name. And I want to say this oh though. So for everyone who's listened, um, I have been talking about doing that podcast and like how I had it scheduled up prior and everything for a while. And I've been saying Perez, Perez Designs is coming on. Perez Designs. No one said that's not how you say it. No one said a fucking thing. <laughs> all right. That's all I'm going to say. It's Paraz, not Perez. So Paraz. Now we all know. Now we all know. Now we all now know. We all the Hicks, all the Southeastern yep. Hicks. So um, again, I am joined tonight by Aaron Mosolo. Cool dude. Man, what's going on, man? How I are you doing? It. I'm doing good, man. Um, been a hectic week, just trying to get things planned and like keep things rolling. But I hear you. Very cool. It. That's about it. Well, let's talk a little bit about you, man. So so first of all, we're gonna do a little outline, a little breakdown of the episode. Um, this is gonna be kind of a different, kind of different pace, um, because if you haven't noticed yet, or if you're just listening, this is gonna have a video on YouTube of us both live streaming. It's not live actually streaming, so you didn't miss anything, but it'll be actually us interacting <laughs> and chatting, and we're gonna change the flow up, and I'm gonna try and make it seem a little more natural, so that way conversation is flowing, and I'm not. You know, like you don't like see it. me looking over at the outline like, what the fuck am I supposed to say next? So, like, where am I at again? And so, we're going to try and keep the flow natural, but I'm not worried about it. I think we have that good flow anyways. We've been playing games. We've been, you know, yep. chatting, yep. bullshitting it up. So, I think we're there. So, with Aaron, as we're going to discuss is Twitch streaming. Twitch streaming. Aaron is a Twitch streamer. Um, Twitch streamer. You're asking, well, what the hell is Twitch streaming? And for those who already do know... Um, the, the main purpose I feel like has always been as a entertainer going on live streaming. So there's no room for errors, of course, unlike me where I can go back and edit it. So you didn't even hear me say something or know something. Um, but he doesn't have any room for error. So that adds a little bit of level stress to that, but he normally live streams you playing video games, um, and any kind of form of entertainment. And it's a cool aspect and kind of a weird thing that I kind of learned to enjoy myself. It was kind of a weird thing. I didn't understand at first, like the typical, like almost boomer aspect of it. And some of you guys might be thinking the same thing, but here, we'll wait, we'll get there. We'll get there. So there's no way you're boomer age. No, 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 I'm not. No. I'm not. All right. I'm not. So just, just mentality wise. Yeah. Well, I get that, you know, okay. we'll get there. We'll get there. So All right. All right. we're going to discuss, <laughs> we're going to discuss like these steps and like, how you get involved with that, you know, what is like the different levels because, you know, it's in a way it's kind of like YouTube, like where there's different like little levels of like, you know, we'll, we'll get into that. We'll get to that. Cause I'm going to, I'm going to mess up like the actual names and labelings of it. Um, additionally, <laughs> like, you know, popularity, like, you know, what's going on in, in the Twitch world, you know, so gaming wise, what content, what is like, you know, relevant or popular or gains interest and like, you know, just growing your market and we're going to get into all kinds of stuff because in a way podcasting is similar, but at the same time, like I said before, I have a lot more room for error. I can get away with stuff, but when you're live streaming and you have people watching you, man, in the age of internet, you can't do anything wrong because they'll clip it, you know, all kinds of stuff. So mm -hmm. we'll talk about that mm -hmm. influences, um, anything that inspired you to jump into this and you know just all that jazz right there so we'll get into it all right i'm gonna mess up i it. know i know i'm gonna mess up the day yeah, you crushed that we're not gonna have to edit <sighs> any of that oh, man. is this the right one Five, four, wrong one three, all right two, lightning eight, round okay. icebreakers get into Good. this all right so one question i got i did a little small little live stream and you jumped in i saw you um peeked in there for a minute yeah just for a minute but one thing I thought someone asked me, which I thought was a really good question, was 
for in your opinion, and you may not be a big first person shooter, but we've been playing first person shooters, so I imagine you are. Yep. Yep. Gentleman asked, influential or more influential first person shooter growing up or in general, Goldeneye or Doom? All right. So I'm going to get a lot of hate right out it's of okay. the gate. It's I okay. didn't start really playing anything until two years ago. Really? So like me and my brother, our first console was the PlayStation 1. That's and right. we had like Crash Bandicoot and Spyro. And that gotcha. was about it. Um, and then after that, it was like a he bought a GameCube. So it was like Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Um, oh, you won't get hate for that, dude. Uh, well, no. But like it was his GameCube. So honestly... Being the little brother, I couldn't. I didn't yeah, play a it's, whole it's, lot. it's limited, um, yeah. But yeah, then we had like a Wii, and that died after a month, obviously. <laughs> um, so we like, I, it. I didn't actually get into like shooters until a couple of years ago. Cool. Um, and then, so like, my first one that I consistently played was uh, Call of Duty Black Ops Four, I think. Wow, um, man. Yeah, you, you so missed like, the golden I, I don't age. Have an opinion. I know, man. Like, I had a couple of buddies who like were like seven ish years mm-hmm. older than me. And they were like all about golden eye when they first moved and we first became friends. They had like an N64 and we're crushing it. And I was, I just watched cause there was no way I was going to keep up with them. <laughs> so but funny, like dude. from what I've heard, golden eye is the route to go. Yeah. So that was going to be my answer. Um, right. I think it's going to be the unpopular answer actually, because I feel like there's, I feel like doom was like one of that more iconic growing up, I think, or like okay. in that stage, okay. I think it was more, I don't know. I'm going to probably, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to butcher it. I think like it was more PC oriented in the beginning. And okay. so like some of the OGs were kind of like more gravitated towards that. But, you know, I would say first person shooters, I mean, Halo might be more of a do- dominant force in that aspect too. I, yeah, man. Cause like, just really Halo's not going anywhere. Like people still, pl- like they just did a remaster of yeah. everything. So like people still obviously want it. Like, I'm going to keep buying if they keep coming out with them. Yeah. I think for the sake of it being Halo, you know? Yeah. And I think someone just mentioned actually in that lot, that same cast that there was the new ones coming out this year. I honestly, I thought it came out with the new console, with the new Xbox, but I was wrong. I was incorrect on that. But hey, um, but as between those two. Switching over to PC, I haven't really kept up. I haven't either. I'm right there with you. (laughs) So that's a cool thing we'll talk about in a second. So additionally, um, I'm right there with you. I'm going to say GoldenEye for me between the two right, um, growing right. up. I had an N64, and that's what I had was GoldenEye. And, man, I just – that game just had so many good memories and fun. It was just a fun game. Um, yeah, dude. I hate it for you that you missed out, like, on, like, OG I, I know, Modern man. Warfare 2 and stuff like that, like, in the prime yeah, aspects. Dude. And But, hey, you're here now. That's all that matters, dude. I'm oh, here now, and I'm, I'm doing what I can, man. I'm, I'm playing a lot of catch up, but all you gotta <laughs> you do gotta, is play with people who are better than you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta, hey, as long as you're enjoying it, that's all that matters. <laughs> so I was driving to work today and I was trying to figure out questions and like, you know, random screwball questions. And one that popped in my mind I thought was really funny was what is the most disappointing Christmas present you've ever gotten? Oh my gosh. Um, It could be like Dude, when you're really know. young or something like that or anything. Yeah. Most disappointing. Yeah, I know. Isn't that fucked up? That, that's messed <laughs> don't up. want you to get in so trouble though. Don't get, don't get Dude, so, I, like, I, I think I've gotten pretty lucky in Yeah. Like, and I don't I don't think I really have any disappointing ones. I know my sister, she's got a massive disappointing <laughs> Um like one year my grandpa sent her a singular slipper. Oh my god! That's like terrible. an old, and like an old man used Ooh. slipper, and that was it. Um, so that's definitely for her. But like me, I think I've gotten really lucky over the years with man. I mean, basic stuff. Like as a kid, getting socks and clothes. Sucked, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I, was, I, I look back, I think, I'm like, I wish I had more socks. I think, um, I think like growing up, I think that's like what I was thinking towards. I'm trying to think. Like I had like an idea of something. I don't know. I think it was like one of those. I think it was like the year after Xbox One came out. I think that's what maybe it was three. I think it was three sixty. Okay. I think I wanted a three sixty so bad, and instead of getting a three sixty, I got a Nintendo DS. Ooh. And like I thought, I thought I was getting an Xbox three sixty. Like I thought for some reason I can't remember. I think my man, if I remember correctly, I think it was like my mom referencing. It was like, oh, it was the last one we got it at Best Buy. 
and it was like okay. only one left and we were able to snag it and i was like oh man i got an xbox you know 360 yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I, you know, like go through, you know, I'm, you know, Christmas morning, I'm going through my gifts and I see, you know, I, I can't find it. And it was just a Nintendo D like at the time, Nintendo 3 DS was pretty cool still, but it, not compared it's to not an Xbox 360. 360. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, that's so kind of spoiled. That, yeah. But um, I see that. Yeah. I'm trying to remember. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. I don't know. I may have just completely made that up in my mind either, too. I don't know. But yeah, cool stuff. Cool way, stuff. We're rolling with it. Yeah, yeah like we're just gonna it. keep rolling. Just keep chugging along. All right, so <laughs> last question. Another one that came up in my mind. Okay. Love it. You're on a you're on a, you're on an abandoned island. You're only allowed. Right. This is like this. Everyone's heard this fucking question, yeah, but it's yeah. always interesting because actually someone asked me asked it to me recently. Um, <clears throat> you're on an abandoned island. You're allowed to bring, we'll say, three things. However. Okay. You don't have to worry about standard sp- food supply, okay? Standard water supply, and we'll say standard cover. So, like you know, you have the basic necessities to survive, okay? So anything extra, like you know, if your favorite chips are Doritos, you don't have fucking Doritos. You have like, like tilapia chicken, you know, oh. like your basic necessity. But okay, what are the three things that you would bring? Um. All right, so I'd probably bring a bottle of scotch. There you go. Um, a tobacco pipe. I could we like include tobacco with that because it's like <laughs> tobacco. We'll say a tobacco thing, combo. Right? We'll say a, a tobacco yeah, combo. Yeah, all right, but smoke a tobacco pipe because that's that's one of my favorite things. And number three, I don't know. That's hard. Remember, uh, company. I guess company. another person. Somebody to suffer with me. Good stuff, dude. Good stuff. Doesn't have to be misery. Loves his company, just, though. Just, yeah, exactly. Just <laughs> somebody to hang out with, and like also like be super depressed with, you know? Yeah, oh God. No, <laughs> we'll say it's a nice tropical island. So like, there's like a lot of cool, okay. like you know, nice beaches, nice water, like wildlife. Dolphins yeah, swim yeah, up yeah, and hang yeah, out with yeah, you. Yeah, balanced, okay. balanced right. life. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one little spinoff. There was a show that was on Netflix for a while, and it was with Ricky Gervais. And okay. um, Carl Pilkington. I don't know if you've ever heard it before. Um, mm. Man, I can't remember the name of the title. Carl. Long story short, Carl Pilkington was like someone who worked like the sound or audio or video on one of Ricky Gervais' shows. And Ricky Gervais thought this guy was just like the like the like just one of the funniest, naturally just funny guys. And he's not trying to be funny. He's just like just kind of like a, a self-loathing, miserable person, which is kind of okay. funny, okay. but like... So it can be, yeah, yeah, it can't. It did. Well, the show was was one hundred percent was hilarious. So, long story short, uh, Ricky Gervais pretty much made this TV show based around this guy. This this guy is it's not a character; it's a real guy. Okay. Probably a little drama, dramatized, uh, messing that word up for some reason. Dramatized. Thank you. Perfect. Gotcha. I got you. Um, <laughs> and he allows him to travel around different locations around the world. And so, when you, when you say like he's going to like tropical islands. Instead of sending him to like a nice tropical resort, he goes to like this one tropical island and then is like forced to stay on this one random abandoned tropical island. Oh my gosh. And dude. like during the day it's beautiful, but then at night it's just like brutally cold. <laughs> it's, Freezing cold. There's, there's no shit out there. And it's, it's like just... I'll have to dude, it's so funny, man. It's it was, for some reason it was like some of it was just like, okay, I kind of feel bad for him, but it's like yeah, because the dude already hates his life. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you stick him in that situation. He's just gonna it's so hate funny, though. Dude, every else. so funny. They, they like, give him challenges. Like, he has to go do this thing. So, like, one thing was like him, like, like, um, like one thing was like diving with dolphins. And instead of diving with dolphins, they set up him diving with sharks, like, off of South Africa. Oh my, <laughs> gosh. See. oh my gosh no <laughs> no so funny though like all oh. kinds of stuff like that like um uh, dude like and he goes all around the world like different like big locations around the world like he visits china and like he visits you know new zealand australia okay. india okay. i mean it's, it's a it's it's really is it's a pretty cool show um That'd be super interesting. I mean, I'll make some self-deprecating jokes if I can do yeah. that. You know? I mean, like some start, you know, obviously some parts he's like, 
you know, I, I like this. This is pretty cool. And like, you know, they obviously make him uncomfortable because they don't want him to yep. enjoy it. But fair yeah. enough. Okay. That'd be, that'd be kind of fun. Yeah. I To be the, get the guy and also the people doing the stuff. Oh, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Like absolutely. impractical jokers, you know, yeah, like yeah, they just yeah. make it as weird as possible. Oh, and that's exactly what they did. Like, that's okay. exactly what they did. Yeah. Like, they made him stay at one, like, made him go down, like, the, like I guess one of the famous, like, like, like food food ways alleyways in china yeah. that has like all the kind of different types of just off the wall food types and like you know try to get him basically to eat like just some of the stuff that they cook normally oh. that's like a normal meal and or like you know normal like snack food and stuff like that like off these carts and it was just like yeah you could see his just eyes were just like like he was already vomiting but yeah yeah like oh man i'll have to find clips of it it's, it's, it is it's, it's good stuff so, that'd be amazing i would love to watch that oh no dude, it's dude if you can find it it's I'll, have to, I'll find it too. I'll find it. I'll send it to you. It's not, okay. It won't okay. be hard. So anyways, though, let's go and get back onto it before I get off track again. So yeah, Twitch streamer, for those who don't know, video game streaming, etc. Let's get a little more background info on you, though. So tell us about Aaron. So how did you get started in Twitch streaming? What is Twitch streaming? What is, what are your, what is your channel? Tell us a little bit about it. Um. So like I said, I didn't start playing video games consistently let alone shooters until like two years ago mm -hmm. um and then i was just running the xbox and i wanted my brother to build me a pc just because i wanted to be able to play better i yeah. guess because <laughs> like operating systems matter like cpu processor all that xbox can only do so much until they're charging thousands of dollars right so like i had bought into like bitcoin just when it was kind of like chilling and then i made like a thousand bucks off of it so i was like all nice. right charlotte Build me a PC. I'm selling. <laughs> and then, of course, it went to like 40 grand after that. So that sucks. Oh, but no, dude. Yeah, dude. It was rough. Um, so a year ago is when I had my brother build me a PC. And um, I was like, if I'm going to have a PC that can run games well and still have extra power to mm -hmm. utilize, then I'll just start streaming because I'm playing games anyway. It'd be nice to hang out with people while I do it. Not necessarily in-game chat, but like a chat you know so i i didn't really like plan on streaming on twitch to begin with it was just kind of like if i'm playing and i have the extra power i may as well um so that's why i started it and that was like a couple of months into covid so it was like i was home more other people were already home and it was like okay sick this is the perfect time yeah but i mean i I slacked on like getting the schedule going and staying consistent and everything yeah. like that. So it's kind of a headache. But that's hard though. So like when you have stuff like that, it's hard to stay to a schedule like that when it's yeah, not it, necessarily especially your, when you already yeah. have like consistency in your life and then you're adding something mm -hmm. else and you're like, oh, you know what? No, other people are gonna be available at this time. So I gotta switch up my schedule to like be yeah. more convenient for people you know is that would it's you weird. say that's a, a big part of it too for like streaming is being like available like availability time i think so um because like some some bigger name streamers like stream in the middle of the day because it's a full-time job mm -hmm. but i feel like you know i work full-time you work full-time i'm not gonna sit down on my breaks and watch this random dude stream like I'm going to sit down surprised. and like, <laughs> well, yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather sit and listen to music and zone out for like 10, 20 minutes on my breaks, you know, and do nothing. But, um, but I think like just finding like a certain demographic you want to hit and then figuring out when the most popular time for them to watch is, is super important. Very cool. Very cool. So, that being said, when you're trying to find that niche, obviously it's going to be kind of a, like a time of like trial and error too. Like, mm -hmm. did you try like kind of like different times, like morning, minute, you know, because I mean, it's, it, it is, it's, it's a weird thing because I know what you're talking about. So yeah. for me, you know, for me, same thing, day job, um, watching streaming, a lot of popular streamers are also West Coast, which kind of right. like, is kind of weird because a lot of these guys are getting started like at maybe like around 12 o'clock sometimes or like. I mean, hell, like even like guys like Dr. Disrespect, they would be going live at one o'clock my time. So like they're up pretty early, you know, getting it going and they'll, they'll stream for hours upon hours. And, you know, it's like all like you said during the main day, but these guys just rack the viewers up and 
they're yeah. not like just kids either because they're people are donating some serious dough it's almost right. insane yeah. um but yeah so is it just kind of like a moment of like trial and error and figuring out where that niche is and obviously you're gonna you're gonna be limited especially if you have a day job because mm-hmm. you know you can't do you can't be at your day job and stream at the same time right um i think it I, I think it is trial and error. And like, once you actually gain a file following, you can be a little more lenient with what you do. Mm. Um, it's like, obviously if De- Dr. Disrespect had a full-time job, he wouldn't be streaming in the middle oh, of the day. You yeah, know? Yeah, but like, since he makes enough off of just streaming, doesn't have to worry about that. And you can just run it whenever he wants. And people are going to make time to watch him because they yeah. have followed him for X amount of years or whatever, and just respect him that much. Or like, enjoys content that much you know Mm -hmm. so i think it has to do with like trial and error figuring out where your niche is niche niche i've always said but i've heard niche too so you're good dude Um, figure out where that is for you and then also like building a community rather Mm -hmm. than just like figuring out when people are free i think that's a good point um like building a community aspects because even now like this and just like, you know, hypothetically, if I go on and, and view and, I'm, and I'm, I'm using his streams as an example, just because I'm I've just seen how he's he's just he's a big streamer. So like, yeah, to put yep. it like this, for those who, who don't know, Dr. Disrespect is a pretty much a character that a man has created um, who streams, plays on his he was on Twitch story for another time, but we'll leave it at he's very successful at it and brings in a substantial amount of money. But he has a very big cult following. And the big things, like you just said, were like having that niche and stuff like that. But he's had some core guys who have been there for a long time. Like some guys right. I still see the same, like, you know, the years later, same guys are still there. And so it's interesting. You know, I think I think you're right, though. I definitely think that's a big core group. So even like me, I mean, I have the same thing. Like I have a bunch of guys yeah. that have yeah. stayed with me and I try to stay in touch with them as much as possible without kind of like right. forgetting and like, you know, not lose my like place. Build relationships yeah, with absolutely. your OG group or whatever yeah, yeah. in order to like solidify your stance kind of a thing. Yeah, absolutely. And so I'm sure Twitch streaming is very much the same where you're building that relationship with those, you know, those fans. And, you know, mm-hmm. obviously the more and more you kind of grow and stuff like that, those guys who are with you, with you from the beginning, for me personally, it's, it means a lot. Like it, it's like, it's not even yeah, me man. just like, oh, I got to make sure they keep coming back, you know? It right. really is. It's one of those things where I don't know, appreciation. I feel bad if I haven't talked to someone in a while. <laughs> I'm like, dude, right. I haven't talked yeah. to you in a while, so I hope you're doing well. And like to me, it's just like me just saying, hey, I still appreciate everything you've helped me with. And so I know with stuff like that, it's probably very similar, but um, very cool. Yeah, like one of my first followers on Twitch, he was uh, like a, a childhood friend, essentially. And then he moved away when I was in middle school. And like we've kind of kept in touch mm-hmm. over the years, but not not really. But once I started streaming, like he, he was there every single time That's awesome. and like he'd pop in, he would hang out the entire time. He would be in the chat. He would be like sharing my stuff on his stories and everything. I'm like, holy crap, dude, like our relationship essentially crumbled. And now like, you're still here. This is sick. Yeah. Isn't so, awesome? like, he still pops in and like, it's great. Like I got a couple of people similar to that where it's just like, they're dedicated, they're there and they'll like help me in any way they can it's amazing that's awesome man that's awesome so initially so with finding that that stream and stuff like that so with twitch let's let's talk about twitch a little bit too excuse me but um so with twitch what are like the setups like when you are getting started you know how do you how do you get going um so gotta figure out how to record everything and like have everything displayed and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And so like you got to figure out if you want to use OBS or a couple other different options and like all the YouTube videos I watch and all the opinions I heard, they're like, yeah, OBS is just the most convenient and essentially the most streamlined for what you can do. So I was like, all right, cool. So OBS is like where you bring your video, your audio, your effects and everything together to be able to bring onto Twitch, which is a separate platform. So it's like a software to send to the website that you stream on kind of a thing, if that Mm -hmm. is clear enough. Yeah. Um, So it's setting all that up. Um, Figuring out gear is a totally different animal. I spent like over a month just researching microphones and webcams and lights and stuff like that to figure out 
what the best bang for the buck is. Um, and so you got to figure all that out. I mean, obviously if you're just starting, it doesn't matter if you have a $300 webcam and a $400 mic, like nobody really cares. They want to watch somebody who's good at video games to start with or watch somebody who's super entertaining. I agree. So, so like your gear doesn't matter as much, but as you progress and make money, if you do, you want to upgrade that to make the viewer experience better essentially not like your experience streaming better because it's going to be stressful all the time Mm -hmm. um so yeah once you like get all your equipment and get everything set up all you got to do is like make a twitch account really and then you just run it like even if you have zero viewers you run it you play you act like there's people there just to be entertaining even if nobody's there to entertain and Mm -hmm. like you just make it work man it's weird yeah and and it is um and I, I guess that's kind of like a weird scenario too getting started like trying to find like you know that niche and keep going so mm-hmm. when you when you do start off and you're, you're trying to find that and and getting people on or like you know just getting I'm not going to say people that you know I'm going to say people random people like people you do mm-hmm. you have no idea who they are never right. met them before but they stumble upon your 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 stream you know that must be some that, that must be kind of cool I mean I think that's really interesting. Good. It's so cool. Like, okay, so I, I play Rocket League a lot because my brother plays Rocket League mm-hmm. and like, it's just a fun game. Um, and I was streaming one time and like, <clears throat> it was like 11 o'clock at night for me and I was living in LA at the time and this random kid pops in and just starts talking. I'm like, sweet, cool. Somebody to talk to. This is great. I'll stay awake. I'll chill and hang out. And then like, as we're talking, I learned that like, he's like eight hours ahead of me and I'm like, where the crap are you from? And he's like, oh, I'm from Belgium. I was like, what in the world? Yeah. And like he pops in every once in a while. And so like I added him on Discord and we're chilling now. And like it, it's such a cool feeling to have like some random person yeah. pop in, talk to you, start following you. And like you can build a friendship with them. And it's it's so cool. Yeah, I love that, it. That's really cool. And then it's just like creating that relationship with someone that I think that's a cool aspect. So like, you know, all the faults of social media and you can say we'll just we'll throw Twitch in that, too. Okay. Really, you know the faults of it but there's so many there's a lot of benefits too so like yeah like absolutely. you know when would you ever meet someone from belgium out of the blue right. to like connect and build that whether it's playing video games or just chatting like you would right you know never in a million years would you ever do that without that so that's such a yeah, cool dude. way of doing it it's it's so cool and like obviously you meet people else who are playing with you and whatnot mm-hmm. and then you become friends and you play together more and then you find different dis- communities on Discord and all that too, and then start partnering with people. So like, there's there's a lot of room to like expand and grow and meet new people, and it's like yeah. a really good way to do it that you just you couldn't do like 20 years ago, you know? Mm. Oh yeah, absolutely. Technology wasn't there. Yeah, absolutely. So that being said, so when you get that, there's as far as I know, and I'm still I don't really know too too much about it, but I know there's different like levels in the community of Twitch. So like. Mm-hmm. honestly i'll be on i know like one like partner is that is that like a, the technical yeah, yep, name for it um so like what are the different so levels partner i think okay so like first you just start off as a random streamer you don't make any money there's no advertisements on your stream um and then there are four different um goals quote unquote that you have to hit in order to become the next stage which is affiliate gotcha so you need a total of 50 followers um, you need to stream for X amount of days um, in a month. You need to average like three viewers. And then I think there's one other thing, but I don't remember it. Um, and then after that, there might be something before partner, but I'm not sure. But I know once you hit partner, that's like you sign a contract that you're exclusively a Twitch streamer. And then like it's essentially a business deal between you as an individual and wow. Twitch I don't, I don't think hiring is the right word, but like you agree that Twitch is where you're going to associate with and stuff. Yeah. Associated with. Yeah. 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 Gotcha. That's, um, I, I had no idea. So that's actually, that's kind of like serious. Like that's like, yeah, dude. It's so like, it's, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. like you can, you can run it, you can play all you want and like do whatever you want and you can still get tips before you hit affiliate and everything. But after gotcha. that, it's like, it's like a job that you just set your own hours for really. Hmm. So like, and so like, go ahead. ahead. No, no, please go ahead. I was just going to say, so like before, before you hit affiliate, it's like the interview really. So like you got to set your own hours, you got to show up, you got to 
show them that you you mean business and you're there to like play get money and like get them money and then they're like okay cool we'll help you out a little bit very cool very Super cool interesting. Do, now i know like i'm just referencing instagram because that's what i'm most familiar with are there algorithms in place as you kind of start to grow and trend more or like you know stuff like that or or do you know really is it, is it kind of hard to determine um from what i've looked up and like experienced myself mm-hmm. the algorithm is trash <laughs> like getting discovered on twitch is highly based on luck and like communities you're a part of yeah um because the way they do it is like the people with the most viewers will be at the top of the browsing page Fair. people with the lowest viewers are going to be at the bottom and it doesn't matter what your streams in the past have done it's like what you currently are doing so yeah i, mean, I don't want to speak bad because like i'm working at becoming like, yeah 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 yeah. Just, oh, no, I, I get it i get it um, um, tears yeah. or whatever but you know yeah, it, it's yeah. garbage like yeah, whereas youtube like you can hit like recommended or whatever based off of one video and then right, people right, can right, discover right. that or like really anything else like twitch doesn't do that um gotcha. so that's one thing i think they need to work on is just like getting helping people be discovered yeah because like I, mean, I, I would follow a bunch of smaller streamers if i knew they existed you know yeah I, and i i think you're 100 right like i feel like you almost have to stumble upon some of these dudes or you have to find someone right. that tells you about them you know because like you said right. You just don't know. Like, you just can't find them. And at the same time, like, I'll tell you one thing that always detract, det- detracts me from a small streamer is one guy who's, like, in a big popular stream, and he just keeps on pinging his name every five seconds. Oh, my gosh. No, <laughs> I'm just, never going like, yeah, mean, to go over to his page if he's doing that, you know? Yeah, it's, it's almost, stupid. at that point, it's almost like spam. So it's like, no, nah, I'm it's not going to ever do and that. And it's disrespectful for, to oh, the absolutely. person who is streaming, absolutely. you know? It's like, that. that's their area. That's their business that's what they're doing like like if i came in and was like shouting out a podcast that i wanted to start on like one of these like <laughs> yeah, it's a, ridiculous yeah. Like, yeah but I, and then I, I i agree with you though so um but like you know one cool thing that i have noticed and i guess it still comes along with like what you said like it kind of has to be almost luck is i know some big streamers what they can do is they can actually like they can they can be streaming but they can actually broadcast someone else's. So that's kind of a cool yeah. aspect. Um, so I don't know exactly what that's called. I know there's there's a thing called hosting and there's a mm-hmm. thing called rating. Gotcha. So I think hosting is what you're talking about where yeah. they just kind of like are displaying somebody else's stream to be like, right. hey, this is who we're going after. Like, check them out. Like, I like them for whatever reason. Rating, I think, is different where like, you're ending your stream and you're like, everybody who is in the chat right now, we're all as a community going over to this person's channel to like watch them and like b- boost their numbers essentially. Um, so I know that th- those are two different things. That yeah. It's still really cool though. Happen. Yeah. It's super, super cool. And that kind of helps build that community too. Uh, um, so do you see a lot of big time streamers doing that with kind of small streamers or is it more kind of like select people or? Um, I don't know. Like I haven't, I haven't really looked into it. I know like mm-hmm. in some YouTube streams I've seen, they've done that. Um, Twitch, I don't, honestly, I don't watch a whole lot of, um, you're too busy. But, cause it, cause if you're not, how do you watch if you're not actually streaming yourself, you have to be streaming because right. you're, yeah. you're not doing your day job, you know, it's like, I don't exactly. have time so like, to watch other people's streams. Yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to sit there and watch people some play some video games, but yeah, got I, games to play. play them and, yeah. Got games to play. <laughs> yep. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so that's kind of like an interest. That's such an interesting aspect. So what y'all was going to say with, when it comes down to playing video games, that's like, in my opinion, that's something that's always kind of interesting because there's going to be different. One cool thing is if there's a game you're looking, you want to watch someone play, you can definitely go and look up the games themselves and find the category. Right. But right. that's always going to be a difficult selection because I could see where you know, something is popular at the moment. And so mm-hmm. maybe you feel obligated to play the said pop- popular game because, hey, that's what's trending. That's what people want to watch. Right. But man, what if you just hate that game? Like, right. I could see that being so difficult and just like forcing yourself to play something because, hey, I mean, like, if that's what's going to bring in some viewership, I mean, even if you hate it and you like visibly show that you hate it, like as a joking matter, like I could see that being oh, dude, entertaining. It could be hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And so like that and within so itself. 
Yeah. So how do you go about balancing, like finding like what's trending, like game wise? Okay. So I did a little bit of research on this. Like you don't necessarily want to go with the most popular thing Mm -hmm. because obviously there's going to be hundreds of people playing it. And so like what I've found out is you want to find, it's all about ratios. So you want to find a game with a high number of people following that specific game but a low number of people streaming it. Um, so like a, re- a game like Rocket League or Warzone, it's going to be m- a massive amount of people watching, but also a massive amount of people playing. But this game called like Black Desert, it's it's a low number of people streaming it, but a decent amount of people watching it. So like if there's over a million people following that page, you have a higher chance of being discovered because there's less people playing kind of a thing, you know? That makes sense. So like yeah. if you hate a game, but it's super popular. Play it. People love it when streamers get angry and like rage quit and just like, scream and everything. Like, it's, it's so funny. You can make montages. It's great. But I like. I think for discoverability on Twitch specifically, mm-hmm. your odds are in your favor more if you're going for like a, a decent amount watching low number playing. Makes sense. That you know numbers wise that. Makes complete sense too. So right. especially if they're not going to like show like a recommended page and stuff like that, like that makes, you know, right. you have to balance it out. Yep. So what well, that means, I'm trying to think, oh, I had a, had a really good question and of course it's blanked out. Oh, um, so of course. you said montage and stuff like that. So that kind of like came back to me. So that's popular. But when it comes to like montages and clips and stuff like that and recording. Mm-hmm. So the one cool thing about Twitch is if you go live, hey, weren't you know wasn't awake or i was busy you can come back and rewatch it or is that dependent on the level can you rewatch someone's um, stream so when i initially started twitch it wouldn't record anything mm-hmm. but i think i don't know for a fact but i think after you hit like a certain number of followers that it starts automatically recording and putting it on your like channel gotcha okay. um so like you you can essentially go back and watch whatever you want and then like people in stream can clip things and that's on a separate page. So it's like super funny things or like highlights or whatever the case may be. But <laughs> like it is, it is possible to watch a stream after it happens. Gotcha. Yeah. And you don't have to be a, like affiliate or partner or anything like that. Gotcha. So like that was going to be my next question is, so what, you know, when you're getting kind of close and you're like affiliated with Twitch, like, are you allowed mm-hmm. to like put like highlights and like videos and episodes like on say like YouTube? Because I mean, YouTube in within itself is like its own little community. So, you right. know, is that a way to put, you know, your, uh, yeah. your outlet there um, as well? But if, as long as you're not live streaming it, I guess that makes sense. Yeah. hundred percent. So like, um, a couple of rocket league follow players that I follow are like a musty cow or like Lethemir, like they'll stream on Twitch when they're just like doing things. So like they're, they're working on ranking up or like they're making maps like Lethemir. He makes a lot of custom maps. It's insane. Um, but they'll like, they'll do highlight montages or they'll do like special videos specifically for YouTube. They just won't live stream on YouTube. Gotcha. So like YouTube's essentially a separate entity to accompany everything you don't want to live stream or like you want to take from your live streams and like highlight. In- yeah. Saying. And highlight was incorporate little pits. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. So, Twitch is okay with you doing that as long as it doesn't interfere interfere with you actually right. live streaming content. Right. Gotcha. Just Twitch is like specifically live streaming. Like that's like that's their, their focus. Brand. That's what they are. That's their brand. Yeah. Um, so like if you start taking that away from them, they're going to get a little possessive. Yeah. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. So when you are growing though, so the big aspect, like you said, is, is going, you know, gaining followership and building that community up. And there are different types of, and, and, and its own aspect, there's different levels as a follower too. So, you know, there's, correct me if I'm wrong, there's like being subscribed and there's also an actual follower. So like, I think anyone can just follow, but subscribed is like right. a different tier. So t- t- right. t- tell me about that a little bit. Um, so following is just essentially getting a notification when that person goes live. So you can like pop in and say hi or like mm-hmm. watch them. Um, subscribing, if you're doing it right, you get special benefits. So like a lot of streamers do like custom emotes or they'll do like special things for the subscribers, like special streams or whatever. Um, 
And so like they, they make it worth it. But from what I've seen a lot of the time, subscribers or subscribers, excuse me, are just like people who want to support the streamer other than just donating randomly. Mm -hmm. So they're like, Oh, I'll pay X amount of dollars for this month and I'll be good. Um, and then typically the streamer will like try to add benefits to that to make it like, so they're getting something out of it rather than just like, Hey, here's some money every month kind of a thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. And, and I, I can, I can imagine that can be kind of like, like it can be kind of like frustrating too. Cause you're like, you want to give back, but especially if you're starting off, you're like kind of limited to, you know, what I'm, what, what I'm accessed and allowed right. to do too, until right. I can kind of continue to build this. So that's really, yep. that is still is really neat. So what, what is this like the difference? So what, when can you start subscribing? Can you start subscribing immediately to someone that's that's Twitch streaming, or do you have to wait to a certain level? Or? Uh, so the the streamer has to hit affiliate first, so gotcha. like fifty subscribers, and hit like the other three goals that I talked about earlier. Mm -hmm. um, and then after they hit affiliate, then people can start subscribing. But before then, it's just following and then like donations. Gotcha, um, gotcha. which is still nice because they can still like get something out of it. Yeah. If they're streaming, right? Yeah. So they, it's not like a total you're not feeling like you're wasting your time, like mm -hmm. going for this goal. That's never going to happen. Like, like I've had it like in the past couple of weeks, this one um, person was like, they just started following me because I, they followed a buddy of mine and we were doing a stream together. And then they ended up donating like 60 bucks or something over the course of a week. I was like, Holy crap. This is sick. Yeah. All right. Like it was incredible. So like, you know, I'm, I haven't hit affiliate yet. So like that, Maybe yeah, feel it's, really it's good, man. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's yeah, very memorable. And it's momentous, you know. So it kind of gets you, kind of gets you going, and gets you more excited too. So yeah. it kind of gets you started. Yeah. Gotcha, exactly. gotcha. Very cool, very cool. So a piece of lint burn my face. Um, but okay, so yeah, so and I think the next thing is like you know we talked about timing wise, like you know finding that niche time and finding that, that balance. But like, how long do you stream? Because like, I mean, so personally, I am guilty of playing games for like a long ass time. Like, I will get on. <laughs> And if I'm zoned in or if I'm working towards something, oh, dude, you, nope. I ain't getting nope. off for a while. So, so yeah. like, you know, for you, is there like a, is it a point where people play because, or they get burned out, you know, like what, what is that balance? Um, so for me personally, um, I, I only stream like a two, three hours. Um, like I've, I've gone longer in the past, like five plus, but mm -hmm. I mean, like I work a full-time job, so I'm going to get home. I'm going to shower. I'm going to eat dinner. I got to go work out. I got to take care of my dog. I got side projects I want to work on. So like two hours is a long time for me to stream yeah. at the end of the day, you know, because yeah, like typically I won't get on until like 7, 8 p.m. I got to wake up at like 5.30 the next day, so I'm mm -hmm. not going to stay up till midnight. Yeah. Um, like Saturdays or whatever, I'll stream a little bit longer usually, mm -hmm. um, especially if I have somebody to play with because – I'll like, I wake up at like seven in the morning anyway, cause of my dog. So like I'll get up, take care of him, eat some breakfast, drink some coffee, and then like start streaming in the morning and be good to go, you know? Mm -hmm. And after it rolls around, I'll start working on everything that I didn't get done in the week. And it's, we're good to go. But if I had a little bit more time during the day, I'd probably, I don't know. Probably. I know, I know some guys that stream like eight, nine hours and like, I honestly can't play a video game for that long. No, dude, like, I, I get burned out. If I'm not once. streaming 45 minutes, it's my max. Yeah. And like the only reason I go longer than that when I'm streaming is because I have people to talk to, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So additionally, like, so that's a cool thing. So with, one thing for, for me, and it's just like, I'm going to say, I'll say, I'll just say Instagram, but like it is Instagram because that's like my, my main <laughs> outlet for the most part. Right. So for me, for growth and stuff like that, one thing that was brought to my attention was like, you know, because sometimes you just like, like the algorithms not being that great, you kind of have to find ways to, to reach out past that. And collaboration right. is, is one aspect of it. Um, I yep. think you've already hinted at it already, but like, is that something that is popular on Twitch collaborating with other streamers and then like, you know, helping grow each other and balance it out so you guys can both grow or is it like, you know, how does that work? Yeah, hundred percent. So um, either finding somebody to like, play with so you can like mm -hmm. swap followers or whatever or like joining discord communities because so i know a lot of discords like have special tabs or whatever to like meet people to play with or like i like, just help each other out um and then also like spreading 
your influence on social media too. So like Twitter is massive for like gamers and really? like Instagram, kind of like what you're doing, mm-hmm. like just getting a following, having something consistent for people to like be entertained by kind of a thing mm-hmm. when you're not able to stream that they can still connect with you in a, in a way. Sure. You know? Like, yeah. I think Twitter is the easiest for that because it's, it's quick, it's easy and it can be super funny or so dumb. And like, people are always scrolling through it when they're bored, you know? Yeah. Do you, do you find that you're, do you find yourself using Twitter more so than like Instagram for you at least? Typically I'll scroll through Instagram more. Um, but like I'm more active on Twitter than Instagram. Like, but like I, I just struggle to find things to say, man. Like, yeah. Like I know a couple of people who like tweet, a couple dozen times a day and i'm like holy crap how do you have this yeah. much stuff to say like at that it's like almost word vomit at that point like where you're just right just putting stuff out just to put stuff out and then yeah. it's yeah yeah but like other people i know who are like running businesses or something they like they'll do it a lot but either it'll be pertinent to what they do or mm-hmm. it'll be like experiences that they've had in customer service like because they're running their own business they're dealing with everybody and so it'll be funny and like, so that's kind of what the point I want to get to, like where I have enough content with streaming or like Instagram to be able to like tweet it and be like, Hey, this was super funny. You guys are going to enjoy this or like just have something to think about, you know, because mm-hmm. nobody's interested in my j- day job when I'm playing video games, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. That's true. So, you know, I think one thing with, I think it's cool with Instagram is you can have like the video clips and stuff like that. I think that's kind of what's been gaining popularity, but thinking mm-hmm. back, like just thinking off the top of my head, like now I, I kind of remember like a lot of the funnier clips I've have seen have actually been from Twitter. Like I'm not really as, I'm not really active at all on Twitter actually, like, like at all. I think I have an account, but that's it. I don't actually do anything, but <laughs> Instagram is just the one thing because I'm comfortable with it mostly. Do you find yeah. yourself kind of like having to learn and adapt multiple media points to kind of like help gain like you know is it like one of those things where you have to like be out of your comfort comfort zone because like you said you know you don't always have something to say i'm the same way right. i'm like almost posting something and then i'm like why am i posting this this doesn't even yeah. make sense doesn't even really yeah. correspond with me there's someone right. who kind of like helped me on that too and told me like you know if it's not related there's no reason for you to post it <laughs> it's not in direct relation with your business or your like your account or your podcast and like you know what what's what's this about this is more personal make it personal like put it on your personal page instead right. right so do you find yourself having to find like that weird balance of like maybe not getting like that like getting too personal but i mean i guess at the same time you're live streaming too so it is kind of more yeah. personal yeah yeah it's weird man cuz like on my personal like Instagram and everything like that. I, I rarely ever post yeah, just because same. I, I don't really care. <laughs> but so like, since I started streaming, I, I'm like racking my brain, like, okay, no, I need to engage people even when I'm not streaming in order to gain a following and do this, this mm-hmm. and this. And so like, it's more like, like I, I've had, I have three posts on Instagram for my, for my, my streaming and like, I can't think of what else to post, you know, it's, yeah, yeah. it's embarrassing really. Like, so like I, I just struggle with it in general. Um, mm-hmm. so I don't necessarily struggle with differentiating between personal life and streaming. Like I just struggle with posting things. Yeah. And I think that's a good place to start. Like you just vomit out uh, a certain amount of stuff. So people have stuff to view mm-hmm. and then you find like a, a rhythm and you find like, um, similar aspects. So like, basic Instagram posts, you want everything looking similar, you know, like similar filters, similar lighting, everything like it's a vibe. Um, and then like any streaming Instagram or Twitter is going to be the same thing where you want everything to kind of match up with who you are as a streamer, as a person. And I don't know, I think to start with, you just need to put stuff out there and then figure it out along the way. Kind of a thing. Gotcha. When, when, and you told me it was, um, during COVID and stuff like, but when did you, when did you start streaming officially? Like when did you like start putting, I guess, more time into it or focusing on it some more? I don't even know. I think it was like April or June, mm-hmm. June, I think. Yeah. Cause, um, I initially gave my brother the money to build a PC in March, but like COVID just hitting parts were impossible to find. Dude. So it took a couple of months to, to get everything together and then i think june is finally when i 
had everything and then actually could start streaming. Gotcha. With with building a PC, for those who are maybe looking into it or are curious, like what kind of budget are you looking for to build something that can handle a decent gaming experience and also mm-hmm. a decent streaming experience? Like, you know, what, what are they looking at during normal, normal times? Cause right now, normal times. Yeah. Cheap. I mean, like, <laughs> I guess when I say normal times, I'm just saying budget wise, because right now price right. prices are just, or yeah, through the roof. price gouging and like oh everything reselling. Nothing is yeah. worse than a, fucking reseller who buys it up just to take it away from someone just to sell it for profit right. it's so obnoxious yeah, um, um so when prices were relatively normal um my pc ended up costing me 1200 bucks okay but i mean i i went a little above and beyond because like i had extra cash mm-hmm. at the time um but i know from like research i've done you could end up building a budget pc for like seven or eight hundred and still be able to stream and like play video games as better than console so like the base i would recommend is like 800 just so you know you're getting enough and then a little bit extra to like process it well enough for as long as you need it to Mm -hmm. because like computers are going to start slowing Degrading, down the yeah, water depreciating you know? yeah so and it's just the nature of things and that's just like with every right. really almost all electronics all electronics are like right. that so yeah. that's a, i think it's a bring up it brings up a good point when it comes to technology um are there any console streamers like so i know microsoft had its own little streaming service can't remember what it's called i have no doesn't idea. matter it's dead they nope. killed it um pc um, is the way to go pc master yeah. is fine. Yeah, you know, well, I'm just saying, like, the, you were able to stream um, for from for Microsoft. That was a whole thing with Ninja and Shroud. Oh, yeah. Man, I can't remember what it's okay. called. It's, I don't know. I know you are able to stream off of console, but yeah. I don't. I don't offhand know of anybody who does it. Yeah, like or at least um, relevant, because, like relevant wise, like time. right, right. Because yeah. like PC is just more consistent. It's more Streamline, functional, and it's yeah. Yeah, it's it's just much better option because it's going to do everything better. Gotcha. So I think, and what this is one thing that I kind of forgot about when I was building my PC, which I built mine, but the same time. So I I got okay. I got into PC almost identical time frame, like almost exactly okay. the same time frame. I'll be honest, I lucked out on a lot of stuff. Like I just yep. was just quick on it, and then like just yep. lucked out some stuff was like trial and error, figuring out what I wanted and, you know, blah, blah, blah. But regardless, um, one thing that I found interesting was setups. So like, you know, I forgot about peripherals. I totally a 100% forgot about the pricing of peripherals and like your mouse, your keyboard. Um, I didn't forget about the monitor, but like, you know, just the creature comfort stuff that you end up having to add on later on. Um, you know, does that 800, does that budget over like eight, to 1200 does that include your peripherals and stuff like that like when nah, so yeah yeah i figured i was just computer you know yeah just the um, actual hardware yeah so that, that makes it rough because by the end of it you're spending another two three hundred dollars based on mm-hmm. what you get um so like my pc like i think honestly it was probably under 1200 um barely um and then like mic monitor mouse keyboard webcam um yeah, adds up fast man dude like that's like another three four hundred bucks right mm. there yeah you know? and then you tack on if it's price gouging like the funny thing was like with microphones um i was actually trying to expand and get another microphone this was like in summertime okay um could, could not find a microphone could not find a microphone yeah. it's insane you just couldn't i mean like yeah. there's different types of hobbies and stuff like that like parts were just right absolutely destroyed so like i know most of the stuff a lot of people that will be listening will be relating to like firearms and stuff like the price of firearms went up ammunition ammunition but man dude you have no idea electronics um webcams with covid with people being at home obviously you call constantly yeah yep dude i was so so i've got a c920 pro from logitech and it's great like it'll it does what i want like little box in the corner crystal mm -hmm. clear when it's that size no issues like originally they're like 50 60 dollars used i was finding them for 120 
And then like, finally I found one at Staples after months of looking. It was for like <coughs> 70. I was like, what in the world is going on? It was just Man. stupid. And then like, um, Ryzen has this, um, this one that has like a built in ring light or whatever mm-hmm. that they typically sell for like 40 bucks, hundred bucks anywhere else online. It's incredible. It's like, it's ins- it wow. really is. It's insane. So ridiculous, man. And of course, it's like the most, it's like the, the oddest parts that you need that are like price gouged. So like for me, when that I was trying necessary, to- but shouldn't be an issue. Yeah. So like for me, when I was building mine, uh, the biggest issue I came across was the power supply. I could okay. not find yep. a power supply. Um, the ones I did were not. I, I, we're not you modular. Have to have a power yeah, supply. you have no. to have a power supply, and you can't <laughs> underpower your system, or you're just going right. to be like, you're just going to have a lot yep. of issues. And so, like, I knew that I was going to need a certain amount of watt, and like, all I could find was like 500 or like 600. And I was like, that's that's Gosh. nowhere near near enough. Like, that's like, like it's like an office computer that yeah, you're only yeah. typing in Microsoft Word on, kind of. Yeah, thing. it's like you can't do much like with this at all. Like I can't push or like do anything like you have to actually undervolt probably. So yeah. it's insane. Like I couldn't find a power supply and, um, it was typical. I'll tell a little funny story. So I am people who know me personally will know that I am insatiably impatient. Um, it's just because <laughs> it just will eat away at me. And I just, I, it's not that I want to have it now. It's just that I just like getting things accomplished. Like I just hate right. not having everything here like i have all these parts but i can't find a basic you the parts you have the plan you got everything in your head but i'm just waiting on like the most simple like basically a power brick for your fucking right. xbox like that's what i couldn't find so yep. you know of course there's different types so for those who don't know there's like modular ones so you can change stuff out and like alternate and take cables out i am like really anal about stuff like that so i don't want to have cables fucking going everywhere if I'm not using it, I want it to be unplugged right. so it's nice and clean. And you don't have yep. stuff like, you know, whoa, firing out of your um, your PC case and stuff like that. So lo and behold, um, I find one on a gun forum of all place. One guy has one, believe it or not. Um, he had one for you sale. You him some AR parts for it or something? No, dude. I straight up paid, I PayPal'd him. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's like a weird thing. It's like he had really good feedback too. So he had like a lot of feedback. So I was like, okay, I'm not worried about like getting burned or anything like that. Price right. was good. It was um, only a year old, 1,000 watt EVGA gold or whatever G3. And I was like, man, I'm lucked out. You know, so it's decent. like, yeah, decent. So it's a decent uh, power supply. So, you know, it's, it's modular too, or the Nova, whatever the whatever one it is. But anyways, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't know. I can't remember. Um, I remember <laughs> like I was deep, deep into it, and I was like, I know what's good, what's not worth putting money into, and like, yeah, that was months ago. So, yep. At the Love same it. time. I had ordered one from Corsair, somebody, Citronics, whatever, one of the other main ones you want to go with. And of course, when I ordered it, they basically told me they were back ordered like two or three months. And so I was Love like it. so dismayed. I was like, oh man, like, are you serious? Like you told me it was in stock. I paid for it thinking right. that it was there. And then I waited like two, yeah. mo- you know, two weeks and like, like, where the fuck's my shipping? You know, it was like, Come to find out, it was back ordered. So I find this yeah. one finally. This guy's selling it. Buy it up. It's like a Monday or Tuesday. I shit you not. The next day, I get shipping notification that the other power supply that I bought shit. <laughs> shit. Oh my god! <laughs> so I bought two power supplies in a matter of forty-eight hours, basically. Uh, and twenty-four then you cut hours. Somebody a deal because they were getting price gouged on something else, right? Yep. No, actually, I still have it. I still have it. Oh, okay. it's, uh, it's waiting for my brother. It's waiting for my brother. He's um, okay. So it's going to a good cause. It's going to a good cause. It'll get. Right. It'll get. Uh, it'll, the son of a guy. Yeah, it'll go to a, a good home. It'll go to a mm-hmm. good home. So mm-hmm. that was the one part that I had difficulties on. But uh, but yeah, oh, it's kind of a. Yourself. It's a weird thing. You kind of have to learn and balances. And yeah. coming from someone who played console all growing up, when I say growing up, I mean I played Super Nintendo a good bit. And then I played okay. PlayStation 2. And then from PlayStation 2, like it took me a long time before I moved on. But, yeah. um, you know, it was just one of those things. And then, like, when I got a 360, that was so much fun. And then I bought my own PS4. And then I actually switched to Xbox One because I actually preferred Xbox One's ecosystem a little bit better. The only reason I went with Xbox is because of Halo. 
Yeah. Wow. That's, yep. I think it's a lot of people too. And it's kind of funny because originally it was Microsoft who had like all the cool exclusives. Like yeah. They had all the cool exclusive games. And yep. then Sony came in kind of like, they kind of did take over at some point and they just had like all these like one after one. I after think they one. just outbeat them in like yeah. the system itself. They did. Honestly, they did. Like Xbox shot itself in the foot so many times before launch. Yeah. And I think people were fed up with it. And like the whole director, like the, the marketing director or whatever, he was fired. And like, they were just talking about, he ended up working for like a cell phone, like cell phone gaming company or something okay. like that. If I remember correctly. Interesting. And, um, the guy who took over him did a lot better job. Major Nelson, I think, is the guy who basically took over for him. If you were a big Xbox okay. person, you know who Major Nelson is. But he's a big advocate, really good guy, community wise, and, and has a better, you know, better handle. With, on yeah, he looks a lot, you know, out on the outlook, he's a lot better. And they they, they did okay. made, they made a lot better changes for the Xbox for the actual gamer because I mean originally yeah. like there were all kinds of stuff that you had to do in order for the system. Dude, like, like with the 360, there was the Red Ring of Death and like <sighs> there's a bunch of twice. weird technical glitches you know yeah. like couldn't move it either is it, is it yeah. xbox 360 like if you moved it with a disc in at all it destroyed like it ate the disc i think i remember correctly but okay. um but yeah man i had a bunch of good times though a bunch of good times on the x360 but yeah so um so with, with speaking with video games what is a game that you like to play like i know you said rocket league but what else are you playing right now what's popular like you know what's your what's your thing man what you would you going to um so typically it would be rocket league or like call of duty cold war i know i know cold war gets a lot of flack um so the reason i'm a playing beef. is because i got i got kicked from modern warfare servers what um and oh yeah dude, that's yeah. right that's right that's right same, yeah same time around i got kicked from the servers yeah. for warzone like i couldn't start playing warzone again until like three weeks ago was it i don't hmm. know when i first texted you about it like it was weird i i have no idea like i emailed Activision and everything like that. And, and they were a lot of help, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they, they got back to me right away. Yeah. And said absolutely <laughs> nothing. So it was great. Um, so I started playing Cold War when it came out. Um, so I'm doing that. Otherwise, like, I started getting into Apex too because a buddy of mine plays it um, and Overwatch. Um, and the cool things with those is like, you can still do well if you're with people who know what they're doing. Um, and like you and I were talking about it with, um, mm -hmm. I don't remember who we were playing with. <laughs> um, but, yeah, uh, crazy. Um, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. just saying that motion is way more fluid and everything like that. It's it, it really is an apex. Um, and so like I, I enjoy playing that Overwatch. Um, and then like what I wanted to start doing was like um, recording videos for YouTube specifically, but also streaming it um, for like the Witcher series. Oh, okay. Because um, yeah, I hear yeah. Witcher three was incredible. Yeah. And then like with season two of the show coming out, probably this fall, I think it is, right? I think so. Um, I wanted to like kind of get ahead of the game and like play through those games to like hype it up and like just kind of get ahead of the game and like play through them because I've never played through them before. Um, so I wanted to do that. Um, so I, I, I kind of want to diversify a little bit and stream yeah. like games that don't require you to follow along, like first person shooters and everything that are multiplayer it's like you can jump in, see what's going on, leave, and not really miss anything. Sure. But I also want to play story mode games um, and like record it, put it on YouTube and stuff to kind of like branch out and have sure. multiple points of growth kind of a thing. It makes sense um, because, you know, so for me, I'll be completely honest. Um, every time I get a good first person game, I will like overindulge in it and play it too much mm -hmm. like basically two or three days and then i'm just so burned out i don't want to play it but i still want to know the story right. so right. i've done that i've like you know played a little bit and then i'm just like okay i'm just gonna watch someone stream it and i'll just watch it and see how the story goes and you know right. enjoy the story and the gameplay so i kind of know yep. what happens without basically having to just get distracted every turn or you know, yeah, every turn. that way you can still enjoy it you're still surprised when something crazy happens but sure. you don't have to really spend your time doing it yeah yeah like i mean it's just like you know you can do it on the go too so you don't have to be in front of yeah. your computer too yep well um, with twitch um you can i'm pretty sure you can i know it's got its own app too so you can watch it on your phone too right yep cool yep. cool cool. you can go mobile on all that and um it's essentially the same layout as like on on pc or whatever like mm -hmm. you can browse you can see everybody you can go through their channels and all that so it's pretty similar yeah 
with um the interaction so like one one thing that's really pop well not pop i want to say it's popular but one thing that kind of can be dismaying or you have to deal with the frustrations of is stream sniping so like is there like a delay like i mean like so i know like instagram there's like a, a couple of second delay every time the video and that's just you know that's just it's just latency yeah. um it's just gonna happen yeah. naturally do you is that there is that present especially as you're growing and people notice you or you know um i think so um i think it also kind of depends how good your internet is and yeah. you know, how good your pc is you know because like I went from like LA internet when I first started streaming, which is like good because there's millions of people and it has to be good um, to like secluded Michigan internet, <laughs> like the, the upper peninsula. So like it, nobody cares as much. So it was much slower. Yeah. Um, and so like I, that has a lot to do with delay and everything like that. So like in the game servers, yeah. be like working together in order to like do you any good. Yeah. And that's a, that's another good point you just brought up is with the servers and like the latency and stuff like that. And, um, as, and there's always going to be a little bit of a delay too, if you're farther away mm -hmm. from the actual game server. So like, I know a right. lot of game servers are actually in West coast, like they're right in California too. So like, yep. if you're there, you're yep. getting the best connection, you know, possible yep. compared to like, you know, like you and you or I, who are both technically East coast and I'm on the bottom of the East coast, you're on the top. Right. So, you know, you're going to be a little bit farther away. I know some servers are like in the middle of the state and there are some like in yep. Atlanta towards what was your, yeah, I mean, like with rocket league yeah. and stuff, they have like East coast servers, they have West mm -hmm. coast servers, they have EU servers. So like they're, they're expanding well. And I think they're doing that well. Um, but like middle of the United States, they're not going to stick a bunch of servers, you know, because yeah. this, you're close enough to the East coast or West coast to like, connect well enough to play kind of a thing yeah makes sense makes sense um i was gonna say something of course I, I blanked out for a second but uh sorry i cut you off so that's my no bad. no 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 absolutely <laughs> not man, no, you're good um so that was gonna say um so with with streaming and stuff like that what kind of internet connection do you need to have like obviously you need to have the bandwidth to do you know like streaming and then like you know actually play right. games especially if it's online um, so I don't know anything about upload yeah. and download of internet okay. connection or anything yeah. like that. I, I just know that when I moved back to Michigan, I was running off AT&T internet and then moved to charter. So I'm not, I'm not plugging either of them. All right. Like <laughs> yeah. not plugging either, but like I struggled with AT&T. I'm doing better with charter. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. Um, do you know what your internet speed is by chance? Or like what I mean, you guys I could look up if you want me to. Shit, I don't, I don't remember right after. Yeah, all right. I'll tell you what so, mine is in a second. All right. We're going to show, each, mean, show each other's internet speeds. Yeah, <laughs> you, you, you go ahead and say uh, 960 say yours. megabytes. All right. Uh, So I got 98 megabytes per se second. Um, Damn. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's Upload pretty, speed is about nine point five. Yeah, I'm about to say I was, I was figuring it'd be like nine or ten. That, that sounds about right. That's yeah, it's it's kind that's of funny about, too. That's decent, right? Yeah, that's no, that's pretty solid, dude. That's pretty solid. Especially okay. I, right. I was I was worried you're going to say like twenty five or twenty or something like that, which well, I can see wrong. that. Like you know, being in like a peninsula, more rural area, dude, that's something. AT was around that. Yeah, so I I totally Again, not it. plugging. But, that's just you know. saying, just saying. And additionally, right. so like. Oh, okay, but well, I'll get before I get too sidetracked. I'll just say, but yeah. So <laughs> it's funny though because like you know everything's kind of evolved. So it went from like you know dial-up DSL, and now we're like on cable modem and stuff like that. But right. Funny right. thing is with cable modem, I found this out. And if you work, if you work for Spectrum, I, I figured you out, motherfucker. I know, I know all these cable companies. I'm <laughs> you're, I'm putting you on watch, Jack. That's a uh, cheese gallery. We'll get that joke. But okay. um, a lot of cable can handle almost up to one gigabyte of data. Did you know that? Really? Yeah, so when they say oh, wow. that it is not capable of like sustaining, like I'm sure some lines are older lines and they can't sustain it, but standard right. cable like modems, fiber right. and all that crap. In the distance, of course, and different like local yep. boards, but yep. cable, you don't have to have like a fiber optic cable to run like high end internet. You can actually have, like for me, I'm in a relatively rural area for my uh -huh. Um, and somehow they just, you know, that's what these dude, these fucking cable companies. You're, I'm telling mm -hmm. you, I know, I know what you're doing, son. Um, 
but to just slowly expand it because right okay. now, especially with streaming and stuff like that and like people being at home and kind of people kind of starting to shy away from like having a cable plan now. Like people just right. have like streaming services, but right. like, you know, they haven't expanded. But yeah, a lot of cable, like a lot of standard cable can handle up to like 980 megabytes without its So own. more than enough. Oh, more. Oh. Those By 30 buggers, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, so I found that out Um, actually when yeah, I moved to this I'm house. I'm going to get all pissed off. And yeah, like, I know, right? And that's insane. All that garbage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like a lot of these cables are, are more than capable of actually handling. And they've been laid down for a long time. And most of it was all, I think it was all like federally funded, to be honest, on, on top of that. Gosh. And that, and that <laughs> just, I know, it's, that's, that's you know, I'm going to stir people, stir out, people out. I'm just going to get people pissed off. But yeah, so right. like even at my house, um, when I moved in, like originally, it wasn't even it wasn't even discussed, you know, higher levels. But I think same thing. I started off like at one fifty or one eighty or something like that. Okay. And it was like one eighty, but you can get up to two hundred, so pretty much okay. one eighty. You know, they're not yeah. gonna actually. They do go. It does spike up a lot higher than what I actually have. But but he was saying, you know, like, oh, you know, we actually offer like four hundred, or like, I think it was like five hundred, and then he's like, we also offer nine sixty. I was like nine hundred sixty. I was like, is there fiber or something here? Right. And he was like. No, cable. I was like, can cable handle that? And he was like, as long as your modem can handle like the the speeds and your modem. He's like, yeah, absolutely. He said cable can handle that. So it's all about the modem. But yeah, then well, so you get blocked, internet you know, companies are charging more just because it's inconvenient. Yeah, I mean, and on the top of that, like, you know, they want to kind of like choke you up a little bit too. So they yeah. can kind of like slowly build that package up a little bit higher and like, you know, change that yeah, you know, pricing. So same thing with like, so for me, for some reason, AT&T will not go above a hundred locally for me. I'm not sure why. Um, and then there's one local company that has Firebird, but they're, not, they're like, I'm like, I'm like this close, like this close to where their fiber <laughs> runs. And I'm just on the <laughs> wrong side of the neighborhood. So like, or my neighborhood just gotta is cross the street essentially dude, or whatever. Man, like it's killer, man. Like just knowing oh. that people are just getting like this, this fucking Uber internet. All right, so killer. sell your house, move to the other side God, of the neighborhood. Know, and you're good to go. It's insane. But, um, but yeah, so like for me, spectrum is actually the better. They work, work the best for me, but yeah, yeah it's insane. But like, it wasn't even just like, if you look at it, it's not even offered. You sh I just had to mention it and say like, Hey, you right. know, I saw right. like, this is a package that my, whatever guy who came into, to basically stand behind me as I installed my internet and then basically <laughs> said, okay, me, you know, make sure everything's working correctly. Right. Right. But, um, but yeah, it's weird. Funny stuff, man. Funny stuff. But, yep. um, and of course, bigger metropolitan cities, like you said, um, your internet is going to be a higher priority because a higher populace. So it's going to have right. better speeds. And, yeah. Cause they're just going to make more money off of it. So they're mm -hmm. going to prioritize those first, which is, yep. which is fine. Like makes sense. I would do the same thing if I were a business, like obviously I'm going to go for where I'm going to make the most money. Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. It makes sense. Um, so the other thing I was going to say in regards to internet is um, I know with AT&T, at least here, and it's always going to be different, like based on state sometimes mm -hmm. or area. Mm -hmm. um, I know at one point AT&T actually had data caps. Is that something that you yeah. had to run into like streaming? Because I mean, like I would imagine that takes up a lot of internet and having to, you know, upload and download data and info or streaming. Yep. Yep. So tell me about a little bit of the data caps if you have to experience um, that. So I don't, I think by the time I started using AT&T, when I moved back, it, they had been beat out by Charter Verizon and everything so much that they had to quit doing that. Yeah. Um, but like, I don't know. I've, I've heard the rumors. I, I don't know if it's confirmed or anything that like AT&T and Verizon, once you hit a certain level, they would <laughs> slow everything down so it wouldn't cost them as much. Yeah. So I'm sure that was happening because like, our internet was supposed to be pretty good, but my brother would be playing online. And if anybody in the house on the Wi-Fi got even like a Snapchat or something, it would lag. It would like That's crazy, drag man. down. It would just be garbage. Um, so like there was some capping going on, just not like. Yeah. I mean, just, they, just, it. they just turn it down a little bit. Like they just kind of tone you right. back. So it's when like, you get to a oh, certain they amount. Per hit this, this amount of data this month, let's, uh, slow them down so they don't use as much yeah isn't that funny because i mean like what is what is using more data actually doing i guess other than you know right 
whatever their servers and stuff like that. But I mean, that infrastructure is so. I don't know. Like, does it cost over. them like raise their utility bills or something because they need more energy or what? I, I have no idea. Yeah, I'd be maybe be kind of curious to find that out, but I wouldn't trust them anyways. Like I wouldn't believe them. I'd no, I wouldn't believe anything they said. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> I don't care what they tell me. I'm not believing. <laughs> yeah, especially now. I think I think there's one one thing that every American, every person can agree on, and it's that they they fucking hate the cable companies. <laughs> so, oh, internet like, companies, I cable companies ruined it for everybody. <laughs> I, think, I hate them. <laughs> God, man, the worst. Everybody is. can. Come together and come together. Yeah, yeah. I don't Absolutely. care who you are. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's too funny. That's too funny. So, um, I kind of didn't come back to it. I meant to come discuss a little bit earlier, but with the followers and subscribers. So, like when you're going to your Twitch channel, subscribe, yep. follow. Um, one thing that has been kind of popular, and for those who don't know, Amazon actually owns Twitch, as far as I know, still right, right. I believe so. Yeah. So with your if you're one of those people who has an Amazon Prime account, it kind of gives you a little extra benefits for Twitch. So yes. Describe yes. that a little bit. And is it like, and I'll, I'll ask some questions afterwards because I kind of know the answer already, but I want you to kind of explain it a little more to me. Mm-hmm. So Amazon itself has this thing called Amazon Associates. It's where you can, if you're like a Prime member or something like that, mm-hmm. you can sign up and buy things from Amazon and then showcase that you bought it from Amazon, put a link on it. If people click that link and buy the same thing, you'll get a percentage. So Twitch works with Amazon after you hit affiliate, I believe. And it's called like Amazon blacklist where you can link everything that you're using in your description on your Twitch channel or something like that. Um, And then People can like see your specs of your PC if you order it off Amazon. They can see what equipment you're using, keyboards, mouses, mouse pads, anything like that. And then like you'll have your own list from Amazon Associates on your Twitch page to kind of like link it all together. And then you get a percentage off of everything that your viewers buy, which I think is really sweet because you're advertising for them, but you're also making money off of the money they make. Yeah, because I mean, at the end of the day, if that person is looking for something in particular, they're going to buy it regardless, you know, if they see right. it one place or they learn about it right. somewhere else. But at least if they see it. So you just have to make it most convenient to buy exactly. from what they see from you kind of a thing. Right. Yeah. And then on top of that, you know, it's not like you're, you know, like you're like shoving it in their face, too. So it's not like, right. oh, make That's sure you buy list. this. <laughs> out know, of way like they can they're already browsing down there because right. like people like to know the specs of your pc mm-hmm. i don't you know do. why i don't know anything about this computer <laughs> like <laughs> yeah i have no idea what's inside it humble but, bragging like, bro yeah oh. no big deal <laughs> thanks bro thanks for building it um but yeah like people just like to nerd out over stuff like mm-hmm. that and like they'll they'll research it they'll look at what you got and like they'll judge you based on what you're using <laughs> and everything like that it's great so if you want to like showcase what you're using and be like super clean, super slick, you buy expensive stuff, people are going to be like, oh, okay, I like it. It's expensive, so it's got to be good. And it's right here in front of me. Here's a link. I'll just click on it. Good to go. Yeah. And then, and again, PC parts are, I mean, like, I think like individual, I think the most expensive thing is really generally going to be the graphics card. Like it's normally the more expensive yeah. and the CPU. Yeah. But so- yep. But if you are linking that and you did buy it from Amazon and stuff like that, and you offer that as an outlet for someone so they kind of know what kind of performance they can get from from, right. from a build like yours, yep. you know, that's that's a nice chunk of change, I'm, I'm assuming. I mean, yeah, an okay amount at least or something. Hey, it's better than nothing because like, I mean. It, it's something because yeah. like you spend the money on it and if people keep buying it, then you're eventually going to get it back, you know, Yeah, which is nice because then like if enough people buy enough of the parts – your PC is paid for kind of a thing, you know, Yeah, just yeah. because you told people what exactly you bought. Yeah. And I guess the, I think I was trying to reference earlier was it's not like one of those things where it's not like it's a, it's a part that's I'll put it a nice way. You're not advertising it because you're being paid to advertise it. You're advertising it because right. it's a cool, it's a piece that you like and you use right. and it's a quality product and you don't have to advertise a piece of shit thing like some kind of knockoff item like that's right. oh this is just as good as like you know the premium brand or like the the flag it's like so much cheaper but it yeah, looks yeah, just yeah. as bad it's yeah garbage. so it's like it's nice being able to have a good product that does perform correctly 
and yep. not having to, I don't, I don't want to say false advertise because I know some stuff is, is good enough, but you know, you know what I mean though? Yeah. It's cool being like, able to gotta, get that. You got to showcase it correctly too. Like mm -hmm. my mouse keyboard is good enough. Like I like the look, it, like it's clean. Like the base is like metal looking and it's sweet. I, I love it, but there are better mouses and keyboards out there. Yeah. So like if I end up linking that in my Amazon associates or like my blacklist or whatever, I'm going to be like, Hey, this is what I'm running. I like it. It's good enough for me. I'm not going to complain. If you want something better, go for it. Like, yeah. I'm not going to talk it up or anything like that, you know? Yeah, but I mean, I don't think it's necessarily that. It's just like, I guess it's like saying buying some off-brand China. Oh, well, a lot of that stuff is made in China. But like, you True. know, off-name brand Logitech, you know, Logitech whatever. And you're like, yeah. this is better than the best Logitech. You know, this is a premium brand product. You just don't have to completely push that advertising on people and saying like, you know, right. when deep down, yeah, you're like, I wish I had a Logitech, you yeah. know, and it's like, oh, I wish I, I had you. this brand, yeah, but you know, right, I'm being right, paid right. to push this product, even though like the people pushing like phones and then like they tweet and then it's like coming from iPhone, you know, it's like stuff like that. Like, right. yeah. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. it's just, it's, it's cool to be able to support a support of getting, getting support from a product that you actively use on purpose. Like, you know, do you want yep. to use yeah, that product to rep that product? It's not like you being forced to rep that product, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Does I that make sense? Yep. hundred percent. Very cool. Very cool. So additionally though, so like I know there's Amazon prime memberships. It also comes along with that. You can actually subscribe. Like I think you get like one free subscription as an Amazon prime member to, to a streamer. Um, did you know about I that? Know. Did you not no. know? It? Really? I didn't Come know on, about that. That's Come amazing. On, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So <laughs> let me entertain you for a second. Um, so when you have an Amazon Prime account, you, you stream on Twitch, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I actually, I so I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you in a little bit. Um, okay. okay. Uh, so when you actually have like an Amazon Prime account, you are given like one free a month Amazon Prime like subscriptions. Okay. Like, automatically, like there's no. Nothing about it. You just basically have to link your Amazon Prime and your Twitch account together, and this it's associated. Um, oh, and that's I was going to say, like, I, I was going to say, ask you if you knew like the difference in perks between like a regular subscription and an Amazon Prime subscription. I'm not sure if there's nope. a difference between the two, or like you know, if they I, match I would assume it. it's the same thing because it's still a subscription, right? Like you're yeah, still yeah. you get the same perks. You just get a perk through paying for Amazon Prime per year, right? Yeah. So, I mean, like, yeah, so I, w I would assume you get the same yeah. stuff out of each deal. Yeah. So I, I know when I had my, well, I still have it, but I just haven't used it. Honestly, I've been waiting for you so I could subscribe to subscribe to you. I so I could just, just plug it in. Away. I was so close. Oh, we're going to get you there. We're going to get you there. We're going to get you four right, followers. Right, I can right. do that. That's I fucking easy as pie. It. We're going to get you that. We're going to get you the followers. <laughs> but, um, but that was one thing. It's like, as soon as you hit that, I can automatically just do it and I can just continue just renew every month. Like I don't have to do anything. You just renew it. Like, right. Like, yeah. So it's no money out of your pocket. Nope. Doesn't cost. It's and that's like a, that's a, yep. That's a cool aspect. So, and it's considered a, a subscription, uh, okay. a sub, I guess. And you know, but I didn't know if I wasn't sure because technically it's like the base, what, what the base model subscription is what? $5 a month. Is that right? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's oh, the yeah. same, basically the same level as that. Okay. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you still get the same perks and everything like that. Like at least based Dude, on sweet. big streamers. Like I know when I was uh, subbing to Doctor Disrespect, um, you know, think, like I said, it didn't cost me anything. So I was just like, well, right. just uh, I tried to go uh, towards the end. I started kind of going to smaller streamers just because I was like, okay. Doctor Disrespect has more than enough subscriptions. Right. So I was like, I I'd rather use my free subscription and give it, yeah, give it to someone who's like, you know, just trying to, <laughs> you know, get a little more followership and stuff like that. And, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. plays a game I like or something. Yep. But I got the same perks. Like I didn't get advertisements. I didn't have to stop. I saw everything. I was able to okay. chat like okay. in, in sub only and stuff like that. So it's not like it's, I think for the most part, it's the same. You get the same thing. I think some people's yeah. badges are like a little different. Like they'll have like a yellow one instead of like a red one or something like that. You know, like say, hey, okay. this is an Amazon yeah. Prime, not a. I think the badges you can customize too, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's cool. And like I know, like with different levels, you can have different colored badges. Like that's or like collectible badges. Like at one point, I had like like the twelve month badge for okay. for basically just not like stopping being subscribed for yeah, twelve yeah. months the case is yeah 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 so that'd be cool man so four yeah, yeah. which is super sick and like since all that's customizable you can like you can Means. really make it entertaining for your community oh, yeah and like, that, 
Hey, yeah, it's it's kind of iconic. It's kind of so. It's funny that you mentioned that. It's kind of it's kind of sad because I want to use a lot of those Twitch Twitch emotes in other places, but I can't because you know it's like it doesn't like correspond with Twitch. other you know yeah. like like I want to use it like on Instagram. You, some of them are on Instagram. You can use and like if you okay. have an iPhone and you have Twitch, it actually does show some of the emotes that you have. You can actually okay. pl- plug them in, but they're, they're not as like aesthetically pleasing as the like the Apple ones. Right, right. But it's still funny though. Like you know, people get yeah. it. Um, Speaking of, I heard one of the biggest Twitch emotes has been removed. The Pog one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Pog yep. Champ. I heard yep. That was gone. <laughs> That's a shame. Which dude. is kind of a bummer, but like yeah. I understand. Like I get it. Yeah. I'm like, you gotta take a stance at some point and like draw a line, but like what did he what what happened? I, I still don't know what happened. Um there's a lot of controversy with the dude whose face it was. Let me let me see if I can look it <laughs> yeah, up. It's, I think so. I'm pretty sure it's something political, like something politically was stated, and I think Twitch yeah. wasn't going to have it. So they they were like, "Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take that down." But the funny okay, thing so is, so like yeah. the guy's face. Google's saying um, they deleted the face of the PogChamp emo after he called for further violence at the Capitol just after a mob sacked the building. So it was based on the whole uh, yeah, raiding the Capitol. Thing. Inciting, inciting riot will get you every time. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's yeah, so now you know. Don't it won't incite. get you impeached, though. So yeah. keep that in mind if you right, ever run right. president. So, so yeah. now so you know, dude. I, I definitely get it. But like, it's it's still a bummer because it was such an iconic. It's, it's, a, it's iconic. Like, Twitch, you know, you know, I think most people don't even know Oh, I'll be honest. I don't know who it is. I don't know who it no, is. I, I just, who the dude is. Like, yeah, I just, I've just face. always heard Pog Champ and then like that. the memes, like, right. Some people won't get this reference, but some people will. Oh, my little Pog Champ. <laughs> Have you seen that before? I, no, I can't. I, I, no okay, idea. never mind. Don't worry about it then. Do not Google I'll that. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, yeah. Care. There's like, there's like this one meme. Oh man, I have to find it because otherwise, like, I'm sure the way I said it makes it even weirder. But uh, it's if you not know, super sexual. it 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 is definitely sexual. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> At least the in the track. in the terms of it. it's not that bad. It's not like something you're like gonna bring up and like you're like. Like, like I can't look. Yeah, like, oh, I can't look at this in front of like anybody. But no, it was. I'll look it up right now, man. What? I'll send it to you. I love it. Oh, let's see here. Oh my Lego little pog champ. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god. You would ruin that for me. All oh, right. Oh dude. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> 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 this is so funny. I'm just I'm just so uncomfortable <laughs> thinking about it. Like what in the world could the context <laughs> be of that? You know? <laughs> like, oh, people are gonna listen. So the people who do know what I'm talking about are just gonna yep. be like shout out to you. No big yeah, deal. They're gonna just um they're gonna be You're gonna die of laughter and not be able yeah. to finish this podcast. And they're gonna be like, "Dude, you are out of control. You're an idiot." That's I just want to say, first of all, I do not watch anime. Okay. I don't watch anime, but I like making okay. fun of it, and I like like the attributes of people doing that. Yep. Okay. But I don't okay. watch anime, so that's that's normal. The normal reference that's enforced hey, in that, that meme. Super, I sent like, to you. insecure to me. I I, I think you I, secretly love it. I just don't watch anime. Like I just, I just don't watch it. Like I don't think against it. I guess. Like I don't know. I just like some. Some of it's just like a little bit too dramatic. I think some of it's oh, too dude, dramatic. I, for me. That's the whole point. It's supposed to be over dramatized and like over ridiculous. Like, like over Americanized as well. Five times and still be able to kill yeah. the anime. Dude, the man, power of friendship or whatever. So you know? many of my friends watch it. I have nothing against it personally. I just don't watch it. I just don't like it. Okay. Okay. Teach their own. So I will say I do take a stand against furries. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> that I can understand. That I can understand. That, I'm, uh, I'm guessing that's what the uh, the whole, oh, my little pug. No, no, it's not. It's from. not. It's, no? It's Are not. you sure? Yeah, I'm it, sure. It sounds I'm like sure. it lines up. Though. For some reason, though, I just relate the two. I don't know why. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know, maybe having like a bad okay. nightmare or something. Like something just is like okay. a like a like a, a deep a deep hidden thing. People yeah. are going to okay. Oh also if you're listening and you don't know what I'm talking about, don't Google that. Don't don't Google Absolutely that. Not. Don't Google that. For your Other own safety. Yeah. yeah, you're just gonna be like 
a little third, bit concerned. I'll just leave, yeah, I'm just gonna leave it like that. You're gonna you're gonna be concerned. You're like, I did not know this existed. My oh, mind was boy. blown. I'm so I'm gonna say, all I was, right. my mind was blown. <laughs> I didn't know what, I, I didn't know what it was, and then like when I looked it up, I was like, this can't be real. Like this is a joke. Like this is, and then you went to multiple sites to cross friends, friends, and like confirm and like will not it, confirm or deny that deep, your wife's oh. questioning your whole marriage. <laughs> no. I, don't, I don't even think no. Your my dogs wife. are looking at you weird. Maybe I don't know. I don't think my wife even knows what that is. I have to ask. I'm gonna ask. I'll ask her tomorrow if she okay. knows what that All is. Right. Um, we'll yeah, see. that's weird though because I love. Why is you're gonna have an interesting conversation? Japanese culture though, but not for yeah. Not. I just don't like anime. It's culture. Not a big anime person. <laughs> I, used, I think I used to watch a little bit of anime growing up, but okay. I don't like know. Like when I Pokemon just, first came out or whatever, and Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, I hated Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. To be honest, really, with you. I hated Yu-Gi-Oh, dude. No one's hair looks like that. You're right. <laughs> That's another thing. It's like really weird too. It's like it's kind of like I did watch Pokemon. I watched a lot of Pokemon growing up. I guess that is Pokemon, anime. Isn't it? Like yeah, I'll watch awesome. Pokemon anytime. Like the original Pokemon, care. like that's yeah, that's pretty 100%. OG anime, I guess. Now you think about it. Yeah, dude. Um, I'm all about it. And then Dragon Ball Z, that's definitely in there. Watch that. I wasn't allowed to watch Dragon Ball growing up. It's okay, because honestly, I missed out. I felt like I, I know. I'm sure. I know. I have some big. I want to say that. I think I have some fans who, or I don't want. I don't want to say. I don't like the word fans, but I think I have some followers who, who like, who are fans of Dragon Ball Z. But man, 100%. every time I watched it growing up. I feel like I watched the same fucking six episodes. Like I watched I the did same hear that there six were like episodes. Eight episodes in a row where they were just on a bridge. Gosh, and like, man. I, I think that's the problem with like some anime series is like there's there's too much filler because I can't keep up yeah. with the manga. You know? Yeah, and like they got to do it's something weird. and it just ends up being boring. Yeah, and I think that's a part of it too. Maybe that's a part of it. I don't know. It's something I don't have. Any, it's something. It's like it's cartoon stuff because I I watch cartoons like. Cartoons are great. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think it's that. Was kind of like that too. Like I did, I watched, I watched a little bit of that growing up. But dude, it was okay. like on late, late at night, and you know, it's like how the hell do you keep up with a show when you're mm-hmm. like fourteen or fifteen years old, and it comes on right. late in the middle of the night, and it's like I don't even know where what's going yeah. on here. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, one of my friends was like, it's like super into anime, and like bless her heart, but she got me into Naruto. I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch this because we're friends, and like. You keep bugging me about it. So like I started it and like it was a grind, man. Like I mean, oh it was you, rough. You know what they do too? And this is something I think that irritates. I think this is maybe this is a one of these deep, deep, deep things. They okay. always okay. leave you on cliffhangers. Like yeah. the the season never yeah. ends. Like that the, there's never a conclusion to anything that happens. It's just That's true. The next thing. And it's like Maybe, maybe Until that. Until you get to like the end where they wrap up everything all at once. And the show's over. Like, that's it. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. It's, that was like the thing with Dragon Ball Z. Like, every time I watch that show, it was like, okay, they defeated the big, the worst person, whatever. And they and got to the next level. Like, like, somehow okay. he's stronger than he's ever been. And then all of a sudden, they come back on the final episode and there's some other dude who's stronger. Again, yep. it's just like a it's just Every a rinse time. and repeat. You know, they, they, they do that. I, I get it. I get it. We got to keep creating that kind of content. Jeez, man, like 20, yep. 30 episodes. And you don't defeat yep. the guy. Killer, killer. Can't do it. Can't do it. Yep. Uh, I'm just Sorry. rambling. Sorry. To be honest, I just yeah. just a little, okay. little anime <laughs> anime charades. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know how we went from streaming to anime. Oh, yeah. like, we're I there. Know. I don't know. We're there. Know. We're there. <laughs> but yeah, so I mean, I this is the kind of banter that I go for though. So. Yeah, it's up. So, okay. Cool thing. So one other good way of supporting other than donating is also merchandise. So, yes. so with you, how does that operate? Like how do you work your merchandise when you're doing like Twitch streaming? Um, you know, I've gotten some of your stuff. I, Dude, I get mm-hmm. compliments on that stuff all the time, especially you my really? mic. Yeah, I, people love my coffee. I always oh, tell them, sick, yeah, dude. I love my coffee mug. Like th- that's like when I don't Amazing. even I don't even drink coffee, but I use it for my tea and stuff like that. <laughs> like you know, my tea. This is my tea mug. It's yeah, the, man. I'm gonna tell you something. It's the only mug that I've ever owned in my life. I'm not even, I'm not even kidding you. I always you. use either my wives or I just grab one that's somewhere. But I was like, oh, you know, I don't have so good about myself. Yeah, I was man. like, I saw it and I was like, man, I love that design. I was like, you know what? Oh, I do not have a mug anywhere. I'm gonna go buy. I'm, I'm gonna get this one. This will be my own my own team. I'm gonna use this one. Yep. So yes, the only yep. one that I've got. Um, but yeah, 
Love that mug. It's a cool. It I just have the design great. really. And it's perfect size anyways. It's, it's, it's not, amazing. Yeah. yeah. So like I, I didn't come up with the design. I hired somebody to design it for yeah. me. Um, so like if you can see these two stickers here, mm-hmm. those were designed by the same dude who designed the, the B logo I use for my um, Twitch stream. Um, and like, I found the guy through my brother cause he had him design those for him for his business. And, um, I was just like, dude, I, this is the kind of microphone I'm using. These are the color schemes I kind of want. Like, so my microphone's called the B caster. I was like, I'll just run a B theme. It'll be sweet. Like it'll match. Like I can correlate. I can like make everything the same kind of a thing. And so like the design he came up with was that, that B I use. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, okay, sick. So I'm going to put this on all of my merch right away and we're just going to plaster it everywhere. So there's like something to relate my streams to kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Um, But like what you were saying, instead of just donating, like merchandise is a great way to support people because they're getting something in return other than entertainment for their money, you know? So like t-shirts, hoodies, coffee mugs, mouse pads and all that. Like I just use this thing called stream elements, which is like, specific towards streamers mm-hmm. um so like you, them. yeah yeah so they're like partner with twitch or whatever and like they they link it to it and there's this like i don't know what it called that there's like whenever the chat is going and whatnot there's an automatic link that's sent out either however many lines or however many minutes that'll link people to like your your merch store essentially and um so like all i did was like i took the design that alex the guy who designed it sent me and like i put it on his t-shirts and like everything they had in the store and it's just sitting there essentially and so like when people order it then they'll make it they'll ship it out and so like i don't have to like spend a bunch of money to get a bunch of inventory to build up and mail it out myself or anything mm-hmm. it's like it's all pre-order stuff which makes my life a whole lot easier one less stress yeah. yeah so like i don't have to do anything and i get a cut of the money because it's my design kind of a thing yeah that's still cool though. So like, I mean, and on top of that, it's, it's free advertising too. So right. when someone, yeah, 100%. yeah. So when someone buys something that's free advertising, when you're repping it around or wearing it. Yep. So, I mean, that's yep. a really cool aspect of having the merch and self. And then on top of that, you know, just, I find like, like something about it just, is just, is just so cool. If someone wearing something that you like your brand or whatever. And like, yeah, you yeah. know, it's, it's, to a, I mean, it's nice to have the money because, you know, if I'm not getting any money, there's no point in me doing it. Right. And that's definitely one aspect of it. But like well, someone like, if wearing you're not spending it. spending money to start with, you know, yeah, like, or like yeah. somebody wearing it, like it, should, it feels good. Yeah, it's like, it's okay, cool. you, you actually like this. Yeah. And that, that to so me like, makes. When you put my coffee mug on your story, I felt so good about myself. Oh, I was man, like, no. oh, man, Dude. that's sweet. So I'll tell a little story about that. So right. I was, I think I had just come back from. I don't know. It was like last weekend or whatever. And um, we had just gotten uh, for Christmas. I got my wife these these really nice like actual cutlery knives and stuff like that. And, okay. and at the time I was like, you know, something I got from. I said his name already. Cheese Gallery. T-Gang. Hashtag T-Gang. You know. So anyways, um, I don't even know why I do that. I It's not even like a real <laughs> thing, but I, it's been like something we reference every off and on. So whenever one of us has a picture of tea, we will we'll, like, we'll throw it's it up a joke, right? Yeah, it's kind of, well, it's kind, yeah, of joke. It's it. kind of serious too. So if you're in the tea gang, you know, serious. you're in the tea gang, you know, kind of thing, no yeah. oh, blood right. in, blood in, blood out on the tea gang. Hey, so, hey. <laughs> <yeah>. so <laughs> I always, I've started now whenever I have like anything that has like a lemon base or like a green tea, I'll cut a lime, I'll cut a lemon. And man, like I cut that lemon and then like I had it sit there for a second and my wife distracted me. And I look over and like I see the knife like on the cutting board and the lemon and like the mug and like all the colors went together. The sun's coming through. And I was like, uh-huh. you know what? That's a badass picture right there. Like I bet you that'd be cool as shit. So I was like, you know, I went and took a picture of it. Dude, I spent way too. I didn't even, I didn't even drink my damn tea. I ended up like <laughs> sitting there like going through the, like, the colors and like I'm still learning, oh, you know, full, so full transparency. I'm. I'm not very good at editing. I'm still learning all the different attributes of it, trying to figure out like what works and just trying to get the colors, you know, because a lot of it's just a learning process for me. That was shot on a fucking phone, by the way. Like my phone did that, which is again, incredible as well. But, um, get through the stuff and I'm like, you know, that looks pretty good. So I posted it and I was like, damn, that looks dope, dude. Like it it looked, it was just clean. And then, then I drank my my tea and it was, it was, it was cold by then, but 
Wow. Very cool. You can drink cold tea, though. You can drink cold tea. It happens. Whatever. It happens. Can't yeah. drink cold coffee. Got to do it for the gram. Got to do it for yeah. the gram. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. So, of course, for those who didn't know, is it actually po- was it posted or was it just a was it just a story? I think it was just your story. I have it posted. I still have it saved, obviously, because it was a badass picture. I took. I spent a lot of time on it. Yeah. I guess yep. in, in rush perspective, but um, I'll have to post it again and have it, or I'll do something with it. I'll have to put it. I'll put it somewhere. I'll, to, I'll put it somewhere. All right. So. All right. Um, but yeah, really cool. And of course the whole thing about it was Moho Solo, Aaron's actual design was on the front and it just, it's such a, it's a good clean design. Yeah. Um, and like you mentioned something beforehand about allowing someone to do the design for you. And mm-hmm. I think that's key. Like that's a bit, it's a big aspect of it. So unless you're someone who is, unless you're someone who's very capable of doing designs and having very good clean work, I think that makes a huge difference starting off anything like yeah. it doesn't have to be it can be a podcast it can be instagram it can be twitch streaming like if you don't have a good looking brand logo or something that at least looks nice and clean like it's, mm-hmm. it's well done man i think like to me like for my for my outlook it's kind of hard for me to take you seriously you know right so yeah, when I you, agree. so when you have a good clean design it's like man that's like that could be a part of it i mean like some people might not like you at all, but like, damn, the bee's pretty dope though. You know, it's like, so it could be anything, but they still support you. That looks sweet, but like, yeah, I don't like you as a person, but I'll buy your stuff. (laughs) I'm sure that's how people were with me. They're like, oh, the rooster's badass, but Max, yeah, fuck you, dude. You're kind of a dick. So one day he has a mustache, the next day he doesn't. Like, what? Yeah, yeah. it's like he's got an identity crisis. Um, yep. And some people know my my alternative identity. We won't we won't talk about that on the lives on the stream, but. Someone, there's a couple people who know about my my alter ego. They know, they know. This, I'm serious too. I'm not even messing with you. I have, I have an alter ego. I have an alter ego. Well, I don't think I've met him yet. So not yet, not yet. Yeah, you'll you'll. No, I'm sure. Hush, hush. I'm sure when we play some games, it'll get referenced. And well, it, it's okay. a it's a funny right. joke. I'll mention <laughs> it, and then I'm sure it'll get put in the comments, or or one of them will put, right. put it in the comments. Great. Start for another time. Cool. Whatever. But yeah, so very cool. So. You said you're four followers or you're four, four followers away from being able to get to that? Yep. Four followers away from hitting affiliate. Very ah, cool. Like, so you have everything else except for just the followers. So you've hit all the other caps. Gotcha. Yep. Oh, yeah. We're yeah, definitely going to get you affiliate. Like part of that's just like the Discord community I joined because like just post your link in there and then like people pop in because they, they know the struggle, you know? They'll just yeah, like yeah. put you on a separate tab and leave your run. They That's it. I'm like, that's really all you need, you know? Yeah, that's a cool thing, too. And, like, you know, at least the community, real, you know, recognizes that and they're willing. To, I, I'll say the same thing. Like, I don't think I've had a bad interaction with anybody. And everyone has always been super supportive with yeah. people that have dealt with me, whether it's just, like, in, in regards to merchandising or podcasting. Like, mm-hmm. even when I'm, like, hard on myself, I'm like, ah, I don't know if I really like that. I don't think it came out really right. well. People are always like, dude, shut up. It's a good, you know, it's good. Yeah. So but same I think thing. that's also because of, like, your personality, too, because you're yeah. so willing to, like, work with people rather than, mm-hmm. like, this is what I'm putting out. You guys have to deal with it. Like, you're yeah. like, I want to give you something good. And, like, that's worth your time and your money. And, yeah. like, like, that's one thing I appreciate about you. Like, you didn't slack yeah. off in your shirts, your stickers, your patches, hoodies, yeah. or anything. Like well, you're like, yeah, we'll take the good stuff. Yeah, I mean, well, that's just me because deep down, it's like if I want to use it or wear it, and I don't like it, or if I know it's sub subpar quality, and I cut lots mm-hmm. of corners, then it's like I feel kind of like trashy. Like it's just like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's like to me, it just like eats. You know, it's like, yeah, I don't know. Like, oh, it's a cool design. But it's too bad I cheaped out and went with like this really piece of shit shirt that no one right. wants to wear because it's itchy. And I've had that happen. Whatever. I've had that happen. Like yeah. no one, no one recently, like it's actually been a while. I think I just learned my lesson more or less. And okay. it's just like, man, it's like there's a great, great shirt, cool design. But damn, I wish you would spend a little bit more money and not get, get me a little <laughs> bit nicer shirt. I would, I would wear, I'd wear it more, but I'm not going to because right. it's uncomfortable. But yeah, yeah I'll that's spend different. Ten dollars on a good shirt, you know. Dude, it's 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 breaking. But regardless, that, that doesn't matter. Not going right, about me. But yep. the same thing with Twitch streaming, though. It's the same thing, like you said, like you know, pretty, you know, providing a good co- content and good quality, and like you said, right. you know, creating different outlets and branches for people to to find and see is. Yep. I think it's momentous, you know, like that yep. that realizes you that now everyone wants to see the same thing over and over again, and you're gonna have yep. to 
have different wall, you know, different outlets and stuff. So yeah, very right. cool. Yeah, so that's why I try not to like stream the same game all over and over and yeah. over because I know it's only yeah. gonna hit a certain amount of people. And like honestly, I want to build a community that the people are there for like me and to hang out with me and each other, you know, mm -hmm. like absolutely. even if I'm just sitting there just chatting with them, I want them to show up because it's like, oh, cool. Yeah, I we can hang. Yeah. Kind of thing. Rather than like, oh, he's pretty good at this video game. Let's be honest. I'm not very good. <laughs> no, you're, I'm, dude, you're fine. <laughs> I'm not good. You're fine, dude. You're fine. Uh, you know, <laughs> hey. 99% of, of, well, I almost said 99 percent is a pretty big number, but 90% of gaming is just communication. So if you can just communicate when you're playing, yep. I would rather have someone not be, you know, as adept as like at a first person shooter, but at least they, hey, like, hey, dude, so, you know, someone's pushing from such and such yep. instead yep. of like, hey, where are, are they? I'm dead here. already. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like, oh, well. I'm glad yep. you called that out. So yep. <laughs> I'm glad. Yep. I've played with people like that. It's infuriating. It's, rough, it's like, it's like, it's I, don't, I don't care if you're bad, but just, yeah, just tell me. Dude, I, I catch some, myself not communicating like that oh, all I do, the time. I do it too. Like, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm bad about it too. Yeah, if I'm having a bad night or from like getting frustrated. Yeah. I'll be like, 100%. fucker shot me, you know, down me. Yep. Then I'll mute my mic just oh, so yeah. I can just. No, I've experienced that firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <it's, laughs> I was having a bad night, dude. Don't tell it. Snitch on me, dude. There are no, there's, I, been, a lot, there's I, been a lot of cheaters though. There have been a lot of cheaters yeah, recently. No, like hundred percent. Like yeah. you're always gonna get that. But yeah. I mean it was just funny for me. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. So so background, um God, what did you say? And I started laughing when you and you asked me because I was like, if if one if if one of my other buddies was in here, he would he would say something like he would he would make some I, stupid I, remark I about it. Ask. But um, something it was about like you needing to vent or something like yeah, that. About maybe uh, it was like, um, are you take this really seriously or like, oh yeah, something yeah, something yeah. like that. But you're not the first person. So like, one of my other good buddies, or yeah, he's yeah, one of my good buddies. I was trying to think if it was like right to say his name or not, but yeah, I'll say it. I don't care. Uh, he's fine with it. If he's not, eh, I did it out. Whatever. Hey, we can um, later. This is a podcast. We can. That's exactly. So ex oh, exactly. Wow. <laughs> exactly. Is yeah, that it's getting exactly? late, man. It's getting late. I'm running right, low right. on my caffeine. <laughs> so, um, Rakadak, aka Paul. I guess it'd be the opposite way. Paul, aka Rakadak. Whatever. Either or. Yeah, either or. It works. Maybe it works. maybe his nickname yep. is Paul and his actual name is Rakadak. You don't know that for a fact. Rakapal Fact Dak for Rakadak. I don't know. So anyway. <laughs> back someone's probably wondering what the hell Rakadak is. It's actually like the the actual like species subspecies name for a type of lizard, FYI. Oh, interesting. I didn't that like, I for some reason, like I was just thought it was just a good catchy name and then like I think he told me because he's like he likes he likes you know reptiles and stuff like that. Which growing up, I actually really liked reptiles too. So, anyways, anyways, we were playing. I think it was I think it was Call of Duty. I think it was Modern Warfare. It wasn't Warzone because um, a long time I wasn't playing Modern. I wasn't playing Warzone at all. I was just playing multiplayer. Oh, yeah. And he was like he's like um he's like dude I, you know love playing with you, but I feel like I have to play. At 110 percent every time I play with you because you're so competitive. <laughs> and so I started dying laughing. I was like, dude, I was like, no, 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 no. Like, not at all. Like, you know, it's you know, for me, it's just like I just like winning. You know, I just mm -hmm. I hate, I hate losing. And if, but if you know, if someone, you know, kicks my ass and they're good, you know, it's it's you know frustrating, but at the same time I can live yeah. with it. But the cheaters right, is right. what, you know, or bullshit, you know, lagging or whatever is what yeah. will frustrate me. But but yep. he was like, Yeah, you know, like you know, we, I play with you and like uh I, I feel like I can't. I have to take it a lot more seriously. Yeah, so I was like, getting Damn, like dude. 11 plus kills consistently in war zone. And like, oh, I was man. sitting there with my one and I was like, this is decent for me. <laughs> no, I mean like stuff like that. Like at the end of the day. So it's funny with like another group that I'll play with. And it's like, oh, we're all having fun community building. And I'm like, you know, yep, and we were, yep. we were joking around like the first time I joined them and he was like, he's like, okay, we come in here. You, you're joining us. We're, we're here to win. And I was like, fucking finally i was like let's go win some damn games like yeah. had no idea they were like you know joking around like you know i was like i was like yes I'm about oh, time so i joined somebody part. serious like and i was kind of joking too but i was like yeah, yeah i'm here right. to fucking win too and if you're not first you're it's last still, you know it's like second place is the first loser and you know stuff but you know some of it of <laughs> course is joking but at the same time it's like it doesn't matter like how many kills you get out. if you don't win you know it's like oh i got 20 right. kills but i came in like 10th place so it's like well yeah. doesn't really mean anything then 
Yeah. So that's my outlook. I just like winning. I just like wins. I mean, no I would rather get one kill. I have done that. I, I did that the other day in like a solo match or whatever battle rails. You just so, kill the last person. I killed the last person. Like I just kept like looking for people and like they were just never there. And then like I would realize like there's like five guys right there. So if I push, I'm just going to get killed. Like I'm just like it's so stupid. Just for me to, so, so I'm going to kind of like wait it out a little bit, play the circle. And then sure enough, yep. like I thought there was still like four or five people. And then I'm like looking around like, damn, dude, it's quiet. And the circle is small as shit. Like where is anybody? Like where is this? Where is the, where's everyone else? And then I look up and I could see that like there's only one other person. I'm like, damn, eh, that works out. And so sure enough, like All right, I for for once in my life, the game cooperates and like the circle is like goes towards me and the guy, the yep. other guy, yep. you know, it has we, to push towards you. Yep. And I, you know, I, you know, so I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I hate to be that guy. You this. It just it is what it is, dude. If I had to go Man, to you. I wish that would yeah, man, I'm telling you, it'll happen. It'll happen. It's like one of those things that just like pops up. But yeah, dude, it's so yeah, funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's I'll tell like one little story because we are kind of like pushing time, but I, I'm having so much fun anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But I know you're probably ready to go. But one time, you know, so the thing about Call of Duty is there's there's no proximity proximity chat, which is right. funny within itself. There's a lot of funny stories with proximity chat in video games and PC gaming, especially. But yeah. With Call of Duty, you get like, you basically have three seconds to insult someone when you die. Like, that's about it. Like, that's about it. Like, three seconds. Fast. Generally, you know, it just depends. Like, I've gotten all kinds of stuff. I won't say I'm, I I don't think I can say some of the stuff I've been called. Some of it's real bad. Yeah, some of it's but... really bad. And like, <laughs> you know, for the most part, I don't really even really focus on it. You know, unless I'm, you know, like, I think one time it's normally towards the lo- longer end. I'm like, whatever, dude, you, you know, fucking bullshit kill or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, one guy, he, um, he played him in like the gulag, which I think gulag is almost relevant. Now everyone knows what the gulag is. Even if you don't play games, right. just cause it got right. kind of modernized, but play gulag. I'm having like a really frustrating night of gaming and I, I kill this guy and I'm, and I'm like, yeah, that's right. You, you know, you, you bastard. And the guy was like, Oh, Hey, Hey, like good shot, man. Like that's all I, he doesn't hear me say it, but he's like, I killed him and like all I, and I'm, I'm thinking, that's right. You know, I'm getting in boys. I killed, like, you know, you're just getting mad and pumped. Yeah. And like, like, it's like, that's why you got, you got bitched down. And the guy's like, Oh yeah. He's like, Oh, good shot, man. You got me. And I'm like, damn, I feel really bad right now. Best like, sport of call of duty ever <laughs> in history. Like the one person who's not saying he's going to F your mom and like all yeah, that. Like, like, you know, completely just go oh, after you and sold you. And he's just like, oh, damn, dude, good shot. You got me. And I'm like, I was kind of like, take, it was, and it was like, it wasn't like a really older guy. It wasn't like a kid. Right, right. It was like, you know, just a, just a regular dude, just a, just dudes being dudes. But yeah, I, mean, I was like, coming down your parachute, like, should have been nicer to him. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, <laughs> I'm glad he didn't hear. Like, I think I was playing in a group and I was like, damn, that guy was like super nice, dude. Like, he was just yeah. like, he like, he complimented me. And I was like, man, That's I'm crazy. glad, I'm glad that he can't hear me. Like, I was like, I would have nope. felt really bad nope. if he was like, he says nice, and then all he hears is, that's right, bitch. <laughs> it's, it's, it's terrible. Yeah. So, I mean, like, I would feel awful about God, that, man. man. Oh, it would be terrible. It would be terrible. It would be terrible. But I, I think there's been a couple times I'm like, damn, yeah, he got me, or something like that. Yeah. I nev- I'm never going to compliment you, though. No, <laughs> I'm no, never going to compliment no, you. <laughs> oh, dude, man. Too funny, too funny. So um, we'll rat- wrap up the Twitch part uh, portion a little bit. And we'll, at the very, well, because we're getting to this portion, I'll go ahead and say it again and we'll repeat it. How can they find you? We'll, we'll start at the top. Instagram. How can they find you on Instagram? Instagram uh, underscore Moho Solo, M-O-H-O-S-O-L-O. Super Sound easy. It out. Don't worry. So if you are like one of those, if you were like me, and I say this every single podcast, I don't know why. <laughs> I mentally cannot comprehend stuff when I hear it or I just forget. So don't worry. I'll have it linked. You'll be able Great. to find them. No problems yep. at all, of course. And then Twitter. Is it the, is Twitter, Twitter your same handle the same? Twitter's the same exact thing. It's Instagram underscore Moho Solo. Awesome, awesome. Um, and then, of course, the king. We, 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 we're 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 going to get you those four followers. Don't even worry about hey, that. Hey, that's all I need. That's all so I need. So we're going to get you more than – well, my goal is to get you more than four, but we know – Great. First, let's get the four. But so, how can they find you on Twitch? 
Twitch is just moho solo, no underscore, no numbers, nothing. Nice. OG name. Get that OG name. OG, no, man. That's, nothing's better yeah, than that. I, I got to thank my brother for that one, too. Yeah, gave so, me PC, gave me the name. I cannot believe that we went this far. Oh, dude, we went this entire day. And I never I, even asked you where the name moho solo came from. So okay. background so on that. So where did uh, it come from? So I think the first online shooter game me and my brother ever started playing was this thing called Combat Arms. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if it's very well known, but like, I'm not very good with coming up with original things. Mm -hmm. So he randomly was just like, just use this and came up with Moho Solo for whatever reason. I was like, great. I've used it ever since. Like, What a clever bastard. Dude, I haven't Clever thought twice game. about using it because it's got a nice ring. It's it does. easy. I it's like it. Like it's smooth. No one else is going to come up with it, you know. And like, yeah. So I'm it's just, just um. It. So it's pretty much just like a, just a random congregation, right? Yeah. So there's yeah. like no and meaning behind. It's like oh. nostalgic. It's like something from him that I can always use and like keep, and it's great. That's cool, man. Like I, like, no, but seriously, I mean, I, I do. I like it. Like like you said, let's just sort to the point. It has it sounds well. Moho yep. solo. I was. A hundred percent worried that I've been pronouncing it incorrectly this whole time. But I was no, like, you're good. Fingers crossed. But yeah, super awesome. easy. Yeah, glad. And you can shorten it. You can call. It, you can say like Moho, solo, mo, solo. Mo, mo, whatever. It's it's great. Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah, so let's. Yeah, very good, very good. So we'll repeat it one more time when we wrap up the podcast in a couple minutes. But we'll have it there. Additionally, it'll be on the podcast link, and of course, when we have the Instagram post. It'll be on the Instagram post. So you can link it, find it. And I'll have it in the link tree as well. So we can go right to his Twitch stream and we'll have it all tagged away so we can go ahead and get him the four followers. But as I always end up the podcast, wrap it up. What is something you like to do outside of Twitch, outside of your day job? You know, when you're just wanting to chill out, enjoy, um, you know, what, what's what's the thing? What What's the move here? It's like I like woodworking and metal work. Yeah. And so like... I try to find like projects I can do for people and like just random stuff. So like I built my brother, yeah. a like an office desk. I'm building my buddy, a coffee table and like just woodworking really. Yeah. Um, so like I'm trying to do like side gigs and everything like that too, and get something for that started up. That's cool, man. That's, and I'm going to tell you, there is a lot of money in that. Like, yeah, dude, like hundred percent. Yeah. It's, like this coffee incredible. table I'm building my buddy and his wife. Like I'm I'm doing it like black walnut and maple. So I'm doing like a chessboard in the middle, mm -hmm. then I'm encompassing it with like more maple. I'm gonna do like a, a copper metal inlay around everything and then oh, that's really the cool. crevices. So like I'm doing like I'm going hardcore on this just yeah. to make it super intricate for him. But like it's so cool because you can charge whatever you want because it's all quote unquote custom work mm -hmm. and like it's just fun. I just yeah. like doing stuff like that. And if I can make money doing that. Why not? Especially if it's something that you just enjoy doing like leisurely. Right. That's not something you have to take seriously or like, you know, right. that's awesome, man. That really is. And then you can also put your own creative spin on it too. So you don't have, yeah, you're not exactly. like restricited. And that's, and you're, you're hundred percent right. Cause in the aspect of, um, a lot of stuff like that, you're either going to pay obscene amounts of money for it. Like if you go to like your typical furniture store or whatever, I mean, you're going to pay, you're going to bleed for it. It's going to be expensive. Yeah expensive like it's insanely yeah. expensive but you know you go to lowe's there's nothing at like your standard you know tool store home depot store they're not going to have anything like that or at least not in that higher quality so right. it's really cool being able to create something especially if you made it by hand like that's it'll always be right. remember, you know memorable and stuff like right. that yeah. very cool my so, brother did the same thing he made me a okay. that's what he made me for I think it was a wedding gift actually he made me a, um a coffee table for our living room and Okay. Like, That's you sweet. know, you know, being a teenager, he had just graduated high school. And he, like, you know, to me, that was just an awesome gift to like, you know, just yeah, something he made. And I was like, dude, this is awesome, man. You know, it's yeah, like, it's you really put nice. blood, sweat and tears into that thing oh, and like made it specifically for you and like took time to just do it. Yeah, man. absolutely. Great. Awesome. So, you know, having something like that and doing something on the side is really cool. That's a cool passion. And, yeah, and you have a 100%. dog too, right? I'm a I big do. dog guy. I do. What kind of dog do you have? Dude, I don't know. He's a shelter pup. Shelter I, pup? I think I, I haven't gotten him DNA test. I should, but I, I think he's like a blue healer and a pit bull. Gotcha. So gotcha. Like, he's See, you have weird. a cute dog though. You have a cute dog. I've seen he's him before. Super, super cute. Like, yeah. but he's so high strung and just doesn't realize how stupid he is. And <laughs> oh, no. he's great. I love him to death. Like he's, he's amazing, but uh, he's, 
he's got some quirks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what dog? What dog doesn't? So, to be true, to true, be true. quite fair, to be quite fair. Yeah. Very cool, man. Yeah, well, awesome. Well, hey, it's this has been great. It is. I cannot believe it's almost two hours now, but it's been almost it's two crazy. hours, and it's, it's been great. a trip. Learned a lot. More often, man. Dude, we should. We should. Well, shit. We play some <laughs> games, dude. So very <laughs> awesome getting to my end up background and. I would like to think before this podcast launches next week, which will be, um, we can see here. We'll aim for, so hopefully we'll have this podcast launch the week of January 25th, 26th. I'm hoping before yeah. then we're going to have the extra four followers by then. So that'll be that. Be that'll be the goal. But until then you guys heard it here first, go ahead and get them, follow them, check them out, <clears throat> pick up some merch, check out the, check out the design. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating about the design. It's very nicely done. Very cool. Old school Super Americana cool. B. It's, yep. it's just cool. It's just a cool design. Join the T gang. T gang. Blood hey, in, blood hey. out. Get the T yes, mug. Yes, Get a T mug. Get a T shirt. And the T shirts are solid too. Good brand T shirt. We were just talking about that. Solid T shirt. I wear it all the time. T shirt itself is very good. Yep. It's, um, I'm trying to think of what the brand is. It's not. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's, matter. it's comfortable. I mean, That's all that matters. It's a good I can soft t-shirt. info that you've put in the description. Whatever yeah, you no, want. Well, I'll send you a link to the merch store so everyone can find it too. So don't even worry about Beautiful. that. Yeah, thank you so much for jumping on, man, talking about hey, it. Thanks for having it. me. I appreciate it. Oh, man, not even a thing. It's um, We've been talking about doing this for a while, so I'm glad we finally meshed it yeah. up and do it. Yeah. And it's been fun, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. All right, dude. Have a nice one. And that'll be it for this one, episode 25. Dude, crazy thing. This episode is episode 25, and it's going to be launched on the 25th. Wow. Oh, shoot. Creepy stuff. Oh, creepy. shoot. That fucking creepy shit, bro. Damn. <laughs> All right, dude. That's it. Beautiful. That's it. Doesn't matter. I'll add that.